Oh, yeah. I see you, Raider, dude. Thank you for opening up the stream with a re Mountain Dew. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mr. Chris, I love that. I love what you just said. That was sexual and exciting for me. No squid in my eye. Well, not yet, baby. We return to our honor mode playthrough. Um, some people are asking. Uh, well, not some people. You know, you know, it's like when you watch those like content creators on like Instagram or something. It's like, hey guys, I know a lot of you guys were asking about where I got this top from. One human being maybe casually said, "That's a cute top." <laughs> but one comment, one comment did say, "Hey, I watch your videos at work, and could you kind of go through your itemization? Because I, I I listen to it, and I don't really know what you're doing, um, and I'd love to." No. So let me go through each character. We'll talk about what their build is and their quick itemization to kind of see how they all play together. Um, Seek and Destroy, it's going well, man. How are you? What do you mean the talking to me like that? Go Shadow, you were doing the talking to me right now. Where'd you get that top? Oh, well, uh, a lot. Hey, guys, a lot of you guys have been asking me where I got this top. It's from a little company called Hook Grip. You're going to go to hookgripstore.com. Uh, they're the... Uh, them and um, Megan Fox. Thank you for the cute blank, the cute blue tank for your information comment. Uh, it's like people who Olympic weightlift usually either have ATG or hook grip clothing. I mean, not like only. I just mean like they usually buy it. It's kind of part of like a culture thing. You know, it's like CrossFit people wear rogue fitness stuff all the time. Same thing. Influencers be influencing. Thank you very much, Captain Fall Down. Guys, we can change the color right now. We can... Oh, dude, you want to see a sick tank I just actually just got? I have a lot of this here. I, have, I don't know how many of you guys remember Gecko Hawaii when you were kids. But boom. This Team Gecko on it. Back. It says... Gecko Surf Team. And it is, the color is mango, and let me tell you, it is mangy. Then I have a purple, I, we'll have a fun, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, like a fun thing we're doing. I have like four or five of these things, but, um, eight then I've got this one. Not gonna, there you go. Gecko. This all glows, this back glows in the dark. Um, and this color obviously is purple, right? Well, I'll sit here for a sec. And it's, it's that old like color shift tech from late 80s, 90s. Where the it shifts colors. I do hate the lead thing. So, you can't really see it too well, but that's pink. The weird thing, like, I've got one of these that is pink, and it color shifts to white, but it just looks like you spilled fucking bleach on it. So I'm like, nah, I want something that the color shifts to two different colors. And that works. It's party party. Okay, so let's go through my characters real quick and help out the gentleman who is watching from work. And I'll give you guys a, a quick rundown of what we're doing here. Um, we'll also kind of recap where we're at in the, in the campaign, too. I'm going to go back today. <laughs> um, so, main character on the far left here is a bard lock currently sitting at level 10. So, we're eight levels into bar, uh, lore bard, two levels into warlock. And we have the Fistbreaker Helm, which kind of sucks, but it's just going to give us spell save DC. That's the only reason we really have it. Then the bonus initiative is cool, too. The Cloak of Elemental Absorption, this allows us to basically absorb an element, then attack back with that element. Um, I'm paraphrasing there, there's more steps to that. The Potent Robe is, of course, the best charisma-based robe in the game. Your cantrips deal additional damage equal to your charisma modifier. Uh, you'll get this from 
the Act 2 Moonrise Towers Free the Tieflings uh, abil- uh, thing here. So if you went with an evil playthrough, you can't get this. At the beginning of the wearer's turn, the robe activates, granting them temp hit points equal to their charisma modifier, which is always lovely. Um, Wondrous Gloves, just to give me some additional AC. It also, it gives me another use of Bardic Inspiration. Then Boots of Stam- Stormy Clamor. Uh, the point of this is that whenever I afflict a condition upon a hostile creature, it gives two turns of reverberation, which stacks with my necklace here. When the wearer deals uh, damage with a ranged spell attack, which Eldritch Blast is, inflict two stacks of reverberation. And the reason I've got this is because Lazel has the Gloves of Belligerent Skies. When the wearer deals radiant damage, uh, two other forms, but I also have the radiant damage, inflict two turns of reverberation. So... We basically have all this present because reverb allows me to knock things prone. It's not necessarily the thunder damage I care about, but it's a free ability to knock things prone, and you need five stacks of that. So across myself and Lazelle, we can easily stack six uh, stacks in just simply one set of damage each. Lazelle can do her two primary attacks or to get two, stack, uh, two stacks each or four stacks, or she can do her flurry of blows to get four stacks with one activation. So we have lots of stacks of reverb across this party right now. But continuing back with my bard, Ring of Mental Inhibition is going to give uh, two stacks of mental fatigue, which is, of course is just going to help us out with just doing psychic damage if it does, but it, it helps out with wisdom, intelligence, and charisma saving throws. So it makes his spells hit a little bit easier. Also, we have the Ring of Truth, Truthfulness. You gain an advantage on insight checks. It's just kind of nice to have. I couldn't think. I don't have another ring that kind of fits. But for his ranged one, we've got Drake Fire Bow for resistance to fire and cold and a free cast of haste. Uh, the Blood of Lathander for now, just because we just got out of Act Two, and it also gives us Sunbeam, so it can't be can't go wrong there. Catholic Shield gives us spell save DC and spell attack rolls plus one, so we actually love that. And on to Lazelle. She's just pretty much wearing the uninhibited Kushigo gear. So the helmet to get spell save DC, gain plus one bonus to spell save DC um, for each time you do unarmed damage. So that's lovely. The cloak of protection here, AC and saving throws. Armor of uninhibited Kushigo. While patient defense is active, the wearer can use a reaction. It's I just mainly using this for the look of it more than anything. I don't ever really use patient defense. Uh, the gloves of belligerent sky, like we said before, two stacks of reverb with her passive that does... Um, uh, radiant damage. She also has a passive to, to switch to either psychic or uh, manifestation or uh, a necrotic if we need to. Um, it's only unarmed, right? I was like, your. I thought it said your attacks. So I was like, uh oh, you can have a lot of fun with this. You know, you're, you're the second person to say that. All your charts seem to have really low. All your characters seem to have really low AC. I don't see this as low. I see this as uh, 18. I'd say is above average. 16 is is on the lower end. I'd, I'd say. But I, we don't have any problems. And also, we're just coming into Act 3, so all the really good, juicy things we have yet to even been able to tap into. Lastly, for Lazel, we have the Boots of Uninhibited Kushigo. The wearer deals additional damage equal to their Wisdom modifier with unarmed attacks. Oh, that's another thing, too, uh, Ogleb. All of these characters are ranged characters for the exception of Lazel. So... 16, 18, and 17, I'll take it for a ranged character. Uh, Lazelle's could be a little bit higher, but like I said, we just came into Act 3. We don't have a ton uh, a ton to jump into just yet. Uh, for her... Oh, uh, Boots of Unhibited Kushigo make it so that her... She deals damage and... Her Wisdom modifier is added to her, her unarmed strikes. Jesus Christ. For Asterion, we have... Oh, she also has the Periaptive Wound Closure here. So... When down, she automatically stab- stabilizes. That doesn't mean she comes back to one hit point. It means that when she reaches zero hit points, rather than making death saves, she's stabilized. So she'll never make death staves, saves. She's just waiting for someone to help her up, which is actually pretty good. It kind of reduces the pressure of trying to get her up. You can get her up far easier with potions, healing word, whatever it is. Also, maximize the number of hit points restored. And that's important because I don't just use this on Lazelle. I'll toss this around to characters outside of combat and use um, minor healing potions or whatever it is. Because remember, healing potions heal a range. This is 16 to 40. And with the periopter wound closure, it's 40. So outside of combat, rather than resting, I can just use a potion uh, to bring them up to health. That's all I need the rest for, right? It's just some health. I gave her the Killer Sweetheart, which is auto crit and Crusher's Ring to give movement. And she also has Grand Gandril's uh, Aspiration to give her advantage against monstrosities when she's attacking. 
For Asterion, we have the Covert Cowl, so it's going to be plus one to his crit. When, oh, I'm sorry. His crit happens on a 19 rather than a 20 now. Uh, I, don't know how, I, don't, I don't know how you'd say that. His crit chance is reduced by one. His crit chance is increased by one. He can crit better. <laughs> um, but he has to be obscured. D uh, derivation Cloak? I was like, Deriviate. Uh, this is just a cloak I have on him. It's not going to really do anything for him. Graceful Cloth. Cats get you gain cat's grace, so we get an advantage on all dexterity checks, and we increase his dex up to twenty. His dex right now is at twenty because of one point from here. Uh, gloves of archery plus two range damage, evasive shoes, acrobatics, and armor class just free AC from him. Right, number to crit reduced by one. That's a better way to say it, guys. Yeah, yeah. Number to to number to crit is reduced by one, so he crits on a nineteen rather than a twenty. And he also has the Undermountain King, so he crits now on an 18 rather than a 20. Has advantage against lightly or heavily obscured targets when using the blade as well, but that only counts to the blade itself. And just to see your scimitar, if you attack with advantage, you have a chance of blinding your target. That does apply outside of the blade. For his ranged weapons, we have Nair Misser. That way this does force damage, and if we crit with it on a sneak attack, it'll do like 40 plus points of, uh, of force damage, which is not really resistible. Well, it is, but we don't see it very, very often. Hellfire Hand Crossbow. Possibly inflict burning. It's just the other really good one. Mainly the big thing here is it's a plus two. Um, Silver Pennant just gives us guidance. Uh, that's better for when he's we're doing like all these conversational campaign bits. Outside of that, though, we use the Surgeon Subjugation Amulet. So once per long rest when scoring a crit on a target, the, uh, on a humanoid in specific, the wearer can paralyze the target for two turns. So that's a really nice little ditty. We have the Caustic Band just to do... Two acid damage every time there's a damage instance, which is lovely. And Smuggler's Ring, plus two stealth, plus two sleight of hand. With our throwing barb, she's using the Halberd of Vigilance because it gives her plus one to her initiative. She does not throw that. She throws the Dwarven Thrower because this, of course, returns to her natively. And we have Elemental Weapon on it, so it will now do thunder damage with every throw. And it's a plus three to its enchantment. It does an extra 1d8 because she's a Dwarf. And if the target is large, huge, or gargantuan, it'll do an extra additional 2 16, 2 to 16 damage. So it's a ton of damage. It's the best throwing weapon in the game. I love it to death. Um, as far as her gear goes, we just kind of have what we've got on her. There's nothing really crazy about this. Flawed Helldusk armor or helmet, because it's there. Uh, Flesh Melter cloak, because it's there. The Adamantine scale is actually the only thing that's probably deliberately on her right now, aside from her gloves and ring. Uh, incoming damage reduced by one. Attackers can't land crits. So those are always really good. Um, Gloves of Uninhibited Kushigo, though, she deals an additional 1d4 damage with throw attacks. That's crucial because it couples with the Ring of Flinging. Ring the wearer deals a additional 1d4 bonus to throwing damage. Uh, also, Ring of Mind Shielding, advantage on saving throws against Charmed. We don't want that, although she doesn't really get the benefit of that anymore because she's a 9-level Barbarian. That means that she already has the inability to be Charmed if she's enraged. I think it's that. Um, Boots of Speed here just give us a free cast of uh, a bonus action cast of Dash. And lastly, she's got an amulet of Missy Step. There we go. Yeah, I do, Mike, most of the time. So the Dwarven Thrower you get from this guy in Act 3 in Rivington. If You, you just got to make sure you, you talk to him without a Shadow Heart in your party. What are we talking about, Megan? I tried to hit double crank across with so many times and so many bills, but I really prefer just a single crossbar. Oh, if I'm right, only the first action gives you a second offhand. Uh, you're correct, but uh, because this guy starts the whole, like, you should go to that. This guy right here, Ferg Dog Diddler. Um, this guy, if you have Shadowheart with your party, he'll say, you got to go to the House of Grief. Or the House, yeah, the House of Grief. Someone's waiting for you. Char is pissed at you. So if you have hit her, he won't want to talk to you after that. Oh, nothing. Um, uh, Megan, honestly, in my opinion, I've seen that the the double hand crossbows are stupid strong. But you're saying that they fall off in the later portions of the game. I don't know if I agree, but we can also test it. We're going to get uh, like Gaunter Mail or the other one. Uh, the other really good one I like. And we'll see which one does more damage. 
Here you go, it's the best starter build. Let me give you a video for that. Here you go, two cure. That's my video on that. Oh, no, no, of course not. Oh, you know what's really cool about your, uh, let me see this. Going at it alone. How to suck dick in dick sucking town. Who's coming with me? That's porn. Uh, why do I have in my list of bookmarks, come on over baby bear lyrics. I'm not even fucking around. This is not me feeling trying to be funny. It's a bookmark for come on over baby bear lyrics. That's something else. I don't know why I would do that. I, the song is great, but I don't know why I would save a bookmark for it. So, Megan, your, your avatar reminds me of this build that I used to play when I was playing POTD, Pillars of Eternity. That you? This you? This you, girl? Uh, I'm honest. I, I made the bookmark. I just don't know why I would. Is that who it is? I thought it was from Pillars of Eternity this whole fucking time, dude. Um, no, I don't know. I could have been drunk. I, I'm, I have no problem with the lyrics to a Christina Aguilera song. I just don't know why I would bookmark it. Point. I already know those lyrics. It was Justin TV. This is really going to fuck me up, man. It's a good avatar, is all I'm saying. Porter House. Porter House, 30 ounces. <laughs> That's a great name. Um, yeah. So, I'm trying to beat this as fast as possible. Uh, because I just want to get the gold dice. And then we're going to start a... Um, it's probably going to be a Barded in. Dark Urge, because I've never done Dark Urge. Complete achievement playthrough. And try to knock out all the achievements that I don't have. Um, I think... What I'll do is record where those achievements are and how to get them as I come across them. Um, and you guys can help me with that, but I just don't really know much of it. There's so many achievements I've just gotten, you know. I think what I'll do is that with that playthrough, I'll do a lot of. Um, I'll do a lot of. A lot of guides on, on the individual things. Like, hey, here's how you beat Grim Skull from the Grim Forge. What achievements do I have? Because um, yeah, I have a lot of the ones you just get, right? Successful use detect thoughts to pry into someone's thoughts. Perform five attacks in one turn. A steadfast supporter. Hey, thank you very much for following me, man. Yeah, if you guys are watching on Twitch, do make that switch. May, or if you're watching on YouTube, make the switch to Twitch. It helps me out, motherfuckers. Okay, so now we're 23 minutes into the stream. Let's have some fun. So, just to kind of recap here, we've done a lot of Rivington for the most part. We've already visited the abandoned mill. If you've not, if I'll try to do, well, I mean, you're watching an Act 3 stream. You know what's going on. Abandoned Mill, there is a uh, Mind Flare. We dealt with that. We dealt with the Circus of Days. We've gotten some of the body parts here. Um, the Open Hand Temple. What does it say? Find the Crime Scene. What? We already did. I don't like... I, I just don't like role-playing evil characters. I think the only time I enjoyed doing... Hoskew, oh, thank you for giving out a community sub, bro. That's very kind of you, man. <clears throat> the Bardadin build is the one at my starter build. Well, I think just generic Bard Bardadin. Two levels into Vengeance Paladin specifically. Um, yeah, Vengeance Paladin, and then 10 levels into the Sword Bard. 
I am cooking up another build that's like a super tanky build using like light cleric and some other fun things. Yeah, I, I same way. I just don't like doing it. I don't like being a shitlord. The only game I enjoyed doing an evil playthrough was uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2. Knights of the Old Republic 2 was, was fucking great, man. Become, being a Sith sorcerer and walking into a room and blowing the room up with Force Lightning was... It's just a different level of, sadis, uh, of sadistic evilness versus this is like... I, I feel this is too personal. <laughs> Okay, so we already got that dagger. Why is it asking me to find the crime scene? I've already found everything. Emodin, for sure Emodin, dude. That's a great name. We learned that the Father Logan used a temple crypt to hide um, herald refugees. We should examine the crypt to learn more. I found the murder dagger, the stillmaker. Do I need to discover something that makes me open that? Like, what the hell? A steadfast supporter. I don't know, Kairos. Andor was pretty fucking good. Another loyal devotee. Because I didn't feel like I was really watching a Star Wars thing until the very end, you know? Or, like, all clicked. Yeah, Murder Hobo is harder for me to do. I don't know what's going to trigger this. Yeah, I think that's one of the worst parts, right? Level of each class is an achievement. You know how I'm going to do that achievement, you landers? Wait until I'm level 12, find a hireling, and do one level of, all of the hireling. Hmm. Did I pick up something? Like... Confessions from Father Lorgan. Thank you, John Azos. Glad you liked it, man. <laughs> Thank you for helping me with it, brother. It came out pretty well, right? Like that... That concept. Yeah, it does work, Daydreaming. We, we can do it once we get level 12. I can show you if you'd like. Okay with that. This is the murder dagger. I don't know why it's not triggering the next stages here. Especially if you're like a specific type of character, right? Like, I'm not going to want to send one of these back to camp. We'll sell it. We'll... Oh, it's Vladislav. What's up, man? Silk root. I'm just reading all these again just to make sure I didn't skip anything. I mean, you can't sell active quest items. Magma. Liquid hot magma. All right, LM Tapes. Good luck, brother. Well, hey, at least you're back in Baldur's Gate 3, right? So, maybe when it comes to D&D, your videos have helped me immensely, and it made me enjoy playing BG3 way more. Absolutely, Bjorn. Happy to help you out, my bro. The mission progresses normally? Okay. I just wanted to make sure I didn't have to come back here, you know what I mean? Russell, glad, glad to have you, my dude. Bros, there's so many of you in here today. We got 53 of you bros in on Twitch, 66 of you over on YouTube. If you can, if you're over on YouTube, do please make that switch to Twitch. It does help me out quite a bit. And if you have a Prime sub you've not yet used, use it on me. Uh, it doesn't achieve anything. Old Heir of Carthage over there. Um, it just allows me to, to speed up the process. Your rise came, baby. Whoo! 
what do you want to know? Told you it's good, right? It's good. I reckon we get the. I might full scoop it tomorrow. Get real fucking horny with it. Please. Already did this. You want a cherry ring pop? Okay. So who here is a? All oh, Hammond, mean, man. I I love. I, see, a lot of you are coming here from. Um. Steadfast. Baldur's Gate 3, but a lot of the folk that have been here for... Bo, what's up, dude? A lot of people that have been here for a long time know my exhaustive love of uh, classical antiquity and medieval history. So, I'm a big fan of Carth old Carthage. Return the letters to the postmaster. It's your former lover. Uh, I recommend just a plus one stat. Killing her later gets you actually a better weapon, too. I'm not the history myself. Okay, dude. I forgot it's down here. I turned it in. I don't suppose you've uh, stumbled across those letters yet. KCD? KCD. <laughs> Jack Jackson, it's no one's fault. Oh, I knew what you meant. Yeah. I'm a bit of a scientist myself. Oh, what a relief. My customers will be most pleased. So uh, this is a nitro cold brew from Starbucks that I put a scoop of protein powder in. Gotta get fucking weird. Did someone ask about why why I don't have Carlac? We had Carlac. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I played it, but dude, it's just so slow for me, Mike. I I, I didn't play it when the hype was around. Um, Because I was playing... I was playing... Oh, no, I was not. I was playing Total War because I was a Total War content creator at the time. And um, now that it's just been a longer amount of time, I've tried to get into it. And it's it's not a bad game, but it's there's a certain jank to it. That just the beginning was just so difficult. It just turned me off. I was like, eh, it's too much of a barrier. Coming from a, like a Soulsborn lover. Red, what's up, man? How excited are you to see him in a? Halt! By orders of Lord Gortash, refugees are no yeah. longer allowed in the city. Got a turn around. Got a thing. Oh, dude, I, I can't stand Red Dead Redemption 2 either. <laughs> well, do you have the means to support yourself? You gotta. I kind of want to do this. Dude, it really did hosk you. I'm afraid Article 30.1.7, I will repeat, for the last time, may I add, do you have means to support yourself? Right. Take the 200 gold. Bribe it off. Daisy Dewdrop Fluffington. Uh. Oh, so keep playing it. Yeah, you can just retake. You just pay to pay to get the oath repaid. Um, yeah, you probably know the, the articles only pertain to you, right? Um, I'm doing the last time. I can't remember how I got through this. Name? Here, just take well my name. Met, sit your parasite stares. From the construct, you feel connection. Resonance. Not just yet. State your business. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I was born and raised in Baldur's Gate. You're a drow. Like I said, a loth born drow. I thought I had the evidence to go through here. That's why I'm here. Yeah, the, the gnomes will come help me if, if shit gets wild here, but... So anytime you have an option to do a class, as I've looked this up now, uh, a class-based option for a conversation, if there's a DC check associated with it, you'll always have a lower DC difficulty class than if you choose one that does not have it in it. Uh, give me a second. I saw your big question, uh, uh, Aphrodite. We're just going to scan you. This guy's going to come over here and scan my balls. I'm going to check afterward. Behind the watcher's gaze, a presence awakens. I, I, sick nature done. I just did it. Yeah, I did it. I did do it, man. So if you want to jump to probably like the 10 minute point in the video, I just went over everything. I don't think you can watch it in retrospect here, but you can on uh, on YouTube. Thank you very much for Neo Volley for subscribing, my dude. Red one one seven. I almost fucked up in the Shar trials. The, don't the, the gnomes help here? But do I have to ready myself to fight for the gnomes to help? I don't remember. I don't remember what I did. Yeah, of course. A steadfast supporter. Please comply now, citizen. Why do you disapprove of everything I, I do, Asterion? Eat this, you pile of junk! Yeah, I just couldn't remember. Run away. Run away. I couldn't remember if like if you if I press consent if that causes an issue. Um Okay, let me see what you said, Aphrodite. I have a question if I may. During the Nautiloid fight, I was near the top of the stairs, the Mind Flayer and the Devil Stand on. When I would attempt to shove them from high ground, the game wouldn't let me. Are there a spe specific uh, circumstances in which you can shove? I mean, maybe you can't do it on the ship, but you should be able to, for sure. I can kill the gnomes, I guess. This is not an evil playthrough, guys. <laughs> what the fuck? Keep in mind, too, I have not beaten the game before, so please do not spoil anything. I am all the way like kind of the end of the game in my my non challenge mode playthrough, but I don't want it to end, man. Can't shove if they'll hit something. Another loyal devotee. Slow down, sweetie. Should I take Jahira into this portion? You can't shove if they're too heavy. That's a good point, too. I need a quick word. Because in, in my playthrough, I took Jahira into that, into Derek's place for the first time. So Bell's chosen is a doppelganger. <sighs> I should not be surprised. Dark Urge playthrough is next, yes. Thick nature done. Thank you for subbing up with Prime, man. Hopefully, hopefully the automation helped you out. Exactly. The last time I fought doppelgangers, the Balspawn Saravok was using them to subvert the Oh, you know I haven't blood. Aid his rise to power. But Orin is more predator than politician, I think. Tell the Lordling that Orin is watching. Seems that Gorthash and Orin have had a little falling out. We should leverage that. You think me lonely? <laughs> Unburdened by numbers, we're free to act rather than react with allies every bit as peculiar. Give or take a few tadpoles. The dancing axe quest? What is that? Oh. 
Would you? In time, then. Perhaps once you've found a rocking chair, that speaks well of your taste. I've heard my share of bad ballads about things I never did. If you have questions, ask. Just don't expect my answers oh, okay. to rhyme. Oh, there's a dancing axe? Yeah, I agree with you, Daydreaming. I love that part. It was Val alone we faced in our time. And bad as that was, he had no elder brain for a laptop. Oh, Stick Nature gave out two community subs too, dude. Thank you very much, brother. You king. A prime sub and two community subs? You lord of lords. Thank you, my dude. That's very, very kind, man. Have I fulfilled my role as your wise and wizened elder? Oh. Don't tell me which. Against all life experience, I will choose to assume the best. Ask her. More than I... Then, who am I speaking to? You have far more experience than I. Do not be moved. And if it wriggles free... Of course. I I'm sorry I couldn't have a better answer for you. It seems like a lot of people in chat helped more than anything. Eli giving out a, a random sub as well. Guys, dudes, we we are... So I put... I was like, you know what? Uh, last last month I put my... I think I put my... um. I think I put my, my sub goal. Dude, I, I, I think I'm using Bloody Plum. I don't know. I think this is Bloody Plum. Um, I put my sub goal to like 150, I think, or 200. I can't remember. And I think we hit the highest I've ever hit is like 300, which was last month. And I was like, okay, I'll do like 100 this month. You know, it's January. I'm not, I don't want to burden people. I don't, I don't want, I also don't like when I have this up. I don't want people to think like, oh man. I got to donate. And I don't, I kind of just put it there. So it's like, hey, you can, if you want, it's there. And here's how close I am to a goal. I think I just put it to like, kind of like broadcast more. Like I'm working towards something because it's like, I, I looked at all my finances for stuff, and it's like if I get that much in a month, it's it helps. It makes, it makes things a lot easier. But we're at 183 out of 100. So thank you so much, guys. It's so so that's so kind of you, you bros. Oh yeah, Haggard Fresh. Well, guess what? This stream's brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Oh, um, Porterhouse subbed up as well. Thank you, dude. I, I'm not going to lie. Porterhouse is my one of my favorite cuts. I, I like Spencer steak a lot, though, too, which is basically staked out prime rib. But, oh, man, I love it. Men, women, children, all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago. I, I really, I mean, I'm starting to get all these hit-ups from these companies. Um, to make this city a safe haven. We'll need to bathe Gortash and his. I'm starting to get all these hit ups for sponsorships. And I, like, I, like a Dragon was totally fine with me. Like, I know everyone loves that series. Uh, doing that doesn't bother me one bit. But then I got hit up by, like, random mobile companies and stuff like that, like a VPN company. I'm like, I'm not going to out this shit, dude. Our modest fellowship Hailrath just gave 10 community subs. We are over 200 for the month. Thank you so much, dude. Alrath, dude. Always coming in here using his huge dick on me. Wait a minute. Porterhouse gave out 10 community subs? Shit, I didn't see that. I, My thing was blocking it, and it said one. That's 10, too. Man, guys. Bros. Bros, calm down. You're making me, you're making me hot and bothered over here. This. Ugh. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Froylight gave out one community sub, too. Bros, you had to make it rain. Should I take my top off? Our modest fellowship Don't fucking tempt me, because I would. It, it is the day, dude. Why is there blood here? <laughs> Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Did I ever tell you, B. Figaro, that I made a blog, a comedy blog with my friend called The Brothers Figaro off of the two characters from Final Fantasy VI? Jesus Christ! Sick Danger Dunn gave out five more community subs. Jesus, Jesus! Want to see the baby? Okay. Dude, I would if I if I was a hot enough dude for OnlyFans, I would do it. I would fucking do it, dude. I think within reason though. Like a little naughty posies, like mm, 
I I'm fine with it. Like, I think a lot of it's really easy to like hate on hate on uh, girls that run OnlyFans. You want to run OnlyFans? I don't give a shit. Would I date someone who runs an OnlyFans? I think it depends, right? If it's a porn-based OnlyFans, no, because that's just not what I'm looking for. But what's the difference between dating a model and a girl who has an OnlyFans and all she does is like lingerie and bikinis? Boom, man. That's like the same fucking thing. I don't got to worry about creepy fucking agents who are like, yeah, come out to Dubai. Like, ugh, ugh, ugh. Nature Boy, thank you. And Kairos, thank you. Guys, dude, holy shit. Uh, yes, I was saving. Guys, thank you so much for the community subs. Wholesome nudes for charity? Dude, that'd be so funny. Hey, my OnlyFans is donated 100% to... St. Jude's Hospital and uh, support for children on Spectrum. Dono day, baby. I'm loving it. Yeah. The end of the month. You creepy fucking agents and creepy fucking like, oh yeah, you, you, this rapper wants to see you. Like, huh? Still my fiance's Amazon Prime info for you. Thank you, Kairos. It's me naked put, helping you put together an Ikea furniture piece. Oh, amongst all my many, many talents, I used to have a carpenter's license. <laughs> In this OnlyFans month, I show you how to fight with a broadsword. I'm certified with that. So should I... You have a monk in your party. There's some good equipment here to buy. Yeah, 100% dip, drip. That's why. Do I do I need to get Jahira right here, or can I just do this? Like, I mean, does it really matter? Because Jahira's, I'm not kidding her out or anything like that. I don't really want to. But I've always done this with Jahira, is why I ask. Is this the this is the highest it's ever been? This is the highest it's ever been. You were requested, puppy. You were requested. Oh determination. No, I know I can complete them another a bunch of different ways, but it's more like with honor mode, I'm trying to kind of get stuff through Oh! You get that paw out of my face. You get that paw out of my face. If you watch my videos and hear a squeak toy, it's him. Well, I've already done the lore, so we'll just do it. It, it was more like, okay, let's see the dog. I, I should set up a dog cam for him. I'm thinking of getting the new, like, Elgato Pro cam, which I think is like 4K at 60 frames per second. And then I would take this is a logic this is a Logitech stream cam and I'd set it up over here for him. You guys can see him when he's in his spot. Greetings, sir. Your noble bearing brings a little class to my how may I be of service? Harpers. I am afraid I serve a grubbier class of clientele than that. More chancers than champions, if you take the key to what? Hey, thank you very much, Daydreaming. Doing a sponsorship over on YouTube. Lion L. Pepega. Thank you, guys. We are, we're 63% of the way to, I think, what will be the highest we've ever been. Oh, shit. Host, you donated 500 bits. We're now 30 seconds away from our highest hype train, I think. Key to the downstairs? Oh, I can't just, like, go there. I know the taste all too fine. Yes, you have the right place. But where she wouldn't have revealed this place. Oh shit, Hype Train is now level seven. I think this is the highest. Eli came out another five. You fucking hot bastard. Here's the key. I hated Sparta. Oh, I get it because he's. Because you know, you get it. Always, it fills you 
the neck on this guy. <laughs> Fucking dude in the neck. Um, okay, so someone asked me why do wares, because I can just press this button. Um, and I'm going to hold off to sell her wares until we get down to the to Damon. Hopefully what we can do is go and, like have that sync up with getting a level. Jesus Christ, dudes. Vesh gave out five more community subs. Hype chain complete at level 7, 74%. Your community contributed a total of 35 sub gifts and 500 bits. I don't think that v Vesh and Eli's went in there. So I'll say that it was 45 total sub gifts, bros. We're at 224 to 100. You guys fucking rule. Thank you so much. I'm thinking reading Orb Cleric Paladin, Dragon Ancestry Sorcerer, or Evo Wizard, uh, Gloomstalker Assassin, and Reverberation Barbarian Monk. Uh, Dan, I'd sw I'd swap I do Dragon Ancestry. Uh, I would rather than do Dragon Ancestry Sorcerer or Evo Wizard. I would just do two levels into Tempest Cleric, ten levels into Storm Sorcerer. I think that's just super strong. Yeah, so I can just press this button and it's all taken care of, right? But um, I also kind of do it just to kind of have it in my brain where things are at. It it's just easier when I'm picking stuff up with her. You guys fucking are awesome. Thank you guys. Yeah, 45 in total with Eli and Veshros in that in that in that uh that pocket of goodness. So I can get the garb of the land of the sky, but I am gonna go to the Sorcerer Sundries next. While using patient defense, you also benefit from the effect of Blade Ward. Well, I will say this. I will say this. Why I do like that is the force damage portion of it because we will have double bonus actions. So it's like you could use Step of the Wind and a next attack roll has advantage and deals force damage. That's kind of cool. But yeah, the, 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 the one we get from the Sorcerer Sundries is the better one, right? Let me see here. Uh, BG3. What's the name of that fucking robe again? Ah, uh, no, that's not our lamp. The Vest of Soul Rejuvenation. When the wearer succeeds on a saving throw against a spell that regain 1d4 hit points, lovely. Well, the wearer can use a reaction and make an unarmed strike against any attacker that misses. So, I basically get this without having to have patient defense up, which is sick. The armor class bonus on it is also plus 2. So her AC, if I had just that and nothing else different in this build, it would be 20, which is sick. Um, I, I, I think it's just it's a better... Over, I, the, I'm not going to be doing enough in this area to necessitate the need for an armor upgrade right now. Do you guys agree? You know, actually, I, I, I take it back. Because um, Mike just made a good point about Dragon, Dragon Blood Sorcerer. Dan, what I would do is Dragon Ancestry Sorcerer and go Thunder. Since you're going to have a reverb barbarian monk this will just help you stack a bunch of thunder stuff up and then get mako shako shakashir in act three and give the thunder buff don't go dragon ancestry oh you can't do dragon ancestry thunder can you you can only do lightning fuck my dick hole um i think lord siri and i've used it twice in this entire playthrough Tempest Cleric Storm Searchers is kind of reliant on wet condition, isn't it? No, I, I, I don't. I think wet is nice, but I don't really rely on it. And there's just so many ways to get wet <laughs> that I'm not too worried about it. So some things. Are you the cutest puppy in the world? You sure as shit are. Okay, let's buy. Could you stop that, please? Thank you. Uh, Beasts, no. Contracts for sure. Humanoids, we shall. Monstrosities, yes. When is this a good thing? I mean, when this weapon lands a when this weapon lands a crit, it slows the target. It does, but you know, Drib, 
you don't need to rely on it and still get quite a bit of damage from that, those builds. What are you doing? You got a little hubby? You, you drink that water like a goblin, that's why, you bub. Your foreign checks. Yeah, right? I don't think this is worth it. It's not a bad helmet, but it's really not a great one. It's why it's only 391 as a rare, as a very rare. At the beginning, uh, this is a great cloak. What well, we can put on him. Yeah, and there's tons of forms of water that you can use, by the way, for that. Uh, not for monk, it just meant in general. We would use that on, um, this is really cool if you want to do a cold monk, by the way. This is really cool if you have a battle master character. I, I think Storm Sork's Tempest, but, you know, DP, um... The, so... <sighs> Storm Sork at level 11 gets fly. And since you're not going to level 11, the Storm Sork ability is going to do 5 damage. But it's an AoE damage ability. Let me look at it. So here's what I say. Draconic Bloodline Storm Sorcerer. Get your, get your little mouth off my foot, Bob. So... What I would say, if if we went with a dragon, we would go with, um, I like blue because it gives us Witch Bolt for free, which is great. Now, oh, it's Fly as Dragon Ancestry. This gets you Fly at level one. God damn, I'm sorry, guys. My brain is all over the place right now. So level 11, we're not going to get this, right? But what I like about Storm Sork is, A, we get all these spells for free, which is really good, right? And you're resistant to lightning and thunder damage. Don't you have this cost you, though, doesn't it? It doesn't? Okay, cool. So this, these two abilities are really nice. And here's the follow-up that's really nice. Stop it. That's really nice about them. All enemies versus all creatures. So all enemies within 20 feet take sorcerer level divided by 2. So 5 damage lightning, 5 damage thunder. When you cast a spell that deals lightning or thunder damage. Any spell that deals those types of damage which is nice. And Tempestuous Magic is going to be after you cast a level 1 spell. So anything that's not a, uh, a cantrip. So, uh, joining us, you get Chain Lightning, though, if you get Mako Shaka Shaka Shear. Was that proc on Lightning Charges? When you cast a spell, that deals, unfortunately. Um, but if we jump back here to Draconic, what I like about Draconic is when you cast a spell that deals damage of the type associated with the Draconic Ancestry, you add your Charisma modifier to the damage. And so at 10 levels of Sork, we're looking at 5 Lightning or 5 Thunder from this ability. Your Charisma modifier... ...10 comes at level 20. So... You have to get 20 Charisma, which is not that hard in this game, right? It's super easy to get 18 Charisma right at the start of the game. And then you can get, I mean, you can get 17 Charisma, then you can pick up Actor and get 18 if you want. You can get 16 Charisma, and you can get Improved Ability Score, and that gets you 18 Charisma. And then you just put on the fucking hat, and it gives you 20 Charisma. Then you use the Mirror of Loss, and it gets you an extra two. You can get the Hag's Hair, it gets you an extra little bit. The nice thing about going this route is you've got tons of um, uh, Charisma built into the character, so all those really hard to roll and make things for the Hag's Hair are pretty easy to make. Your 
lightning damage based on charisma, stacks with his destructive wrath or for lightning bolt and other lightning spell cantrips. Yes, correct. Megan, I don't want to end it. <laughs> Yeah, that, that hat will just, it's, it's so easy to get plus five charisma. What I like about this is it's just, it's always present. This is always present too. I guess it's just kind of, it always depends upon for me how many levels of sorcerer you're taking. At a 10-2, this is going to do five damage, so it's worth it. And you get all these abilities. So if you were like, oh man, well, how am I going to make things wet? Well, you have the ability to just simply create water. And if you go with a cleric, cleric has a cantrip to create water, right? Yeah, cleric has the cantrip for it. So what you do is when you have a cleric, one virgin can run at a time. Uh, small puddle spell for big puddle. Yeah, I mean, can't trip that small puddle, motherfucker. You don't need that big boy. Um, let's, see, let's see, cast it for free in a smaller area. Oh, level two wouldn't do it. But either way, you're going to get a cast of this. And you have the cool thing, too, about being a sorcerer. You can cast from scrolls and basically cast unlimited amounts of spells because then you just simply use um, your sorcery points to kind of just refund stuff. It's a lot of fun. There's a reason I go too. I don't remember what. Yeah, two, because I want Destructive Wrath. When you roll Thunder or Lightning damage, you can use your Channel Divinity and a Reaction to deal max damage instead. So you'd use this on like Chain Lightning, something that's going to do a lot of damage. Also, yeah. If I press this. Stop. 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 I'm all over the place, man. So do this and do 10 and do two, I still get a level six spell slot, which is Website, if you guys don't have it, it is very helpful. Okay, um, what else we need here? Yeah, it definitely is. That definitely is too as well, Yosarian. It's two cleric, ten evil wizard. That's what we were talking about, was evil wizard or sorcerer. So, but never forgotten, if I went six levels into sorcerer and six levels into cleric, tempest cleric, I would do dra draconic ancestry instead. Because at that point, I can do plus five with all my lightning spells, or I just do plus three. Because remember, it's it's six divided by two for the amount of damage it does. Okay, Um. anything else here that we need? Do we need the Horns of Berserker? Zuh. Yeah, I would give this uh, maybe to Lazel. Although we're going to go get the Mask of Soul Perception in the Lower City anyway. We don't need to go to the House of Hope to get that. Uh, I would start with Sorcerer, then get two levels into Cleric. Because we start with Sorcerer just to get uh, um, the Proficiency and Constitution saves. You know, I, I've never gone to the sewer, so I don't know about it. Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll skip out on that. Um... Anything else in here that we need? Um, I think we're all good.
just... Your father bless you. I'd like to fashion souls on uh, Asterion a little bit. It feels weird. I feel like I have to show, take his helmet off because I want to see his face do facial things. You know what I mean? Camp. Put it in your goodie bag. Put it in your goodie bag. Put it in your goodie bag. Uh, vigilance is on. Wait, vigilance? Who's... Wait, who has vigilance? Who's my favorite companion? I don't know. Y'all have asked me that quite a bit, and I, I, I still don't have a good answer for you, bros. I'm sorry. I might have a ton of money right now. It's just shy of 16k, but I have liquid currency in this book. <laughs> okay, these can go to. This all can go to camp, actually. Here, where's my returning pike? This over here. Um, We said that this is what we're going to stick with. The marks... We'll stick with this, right? The marksmanship hat. The plus one bonus to range attack rolls and thrown attacks. It's it's attack roll versus... I'd rather have a higher chance to crit. So this book... I don't know why I said liquid currency. But this book, I, there's just tons of money in here that I have not utilized. Like, we're going to... In fact... Back all this shit by pressing organized by type. Sorry, buddy. I wasn't yelling at you. He's like, please don't yell. Like, these scrolls of mage armor, I don't need these, you know, like. So I, I pick up all the scrolls, right? And we just then choose what we want to sell as the time kind of comes to it. Fuck's in that to camp. Okay, so dark mm, darkness, yeah, yeah, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me that fucking shit. This is a single book that you can do this from. You get it in Act One. Where's? I have bad news coming, bros. I have a poop brewing. A poop is a brewing in my butt. It's by the windmill, I believe. That book is right by the windmill. Zach, thank you very much for subbing up, my man. Oh no, that was sick. Gave out another two. That's what happened. Sick gave out another two. Thank you, dude. Synthway stream. You guys, that's my brother's music. You guys, I'm giving you guys that link, right? Where's where's. That's just going to be a ton of money that we're going to be sitting on here. Yeah, along the wall of the windmill area, but on the barn side in Act 1. I'm just transferring catch. Catch the guys at 10, ignore me. I'm just trying to... Wait, what? I'm confused. Concerned about this. My digestive problem? No, I just 
That was a lot of coffee I just drank. Mm -hmm. new Man, thank you very much. Doing another one, dude. Just making it rain today, dude. I love it. No, well, that's a, that's always just kind of nice to have. Um, yeah, well, Missy Step Edda wears Gold Dwarf to extra experience or Dwegar for free and large for extra one d four. Uh, for what type of character, DP Mole? My 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 go to, I'd say, if if you're for a sorcerer, if my sorcerer went Draconic Ancestry, Gold Dwarf has a ton of hit points because you get the plus one from Draconic and the plus one from Gold Dwarf. It's a lot of it's a lot of really good. Oh, for the Reverb Monk, I'd probably go Dwegar for the the Enlarge then. What are you doing, goofball? Yeah, I know. I think that's think. Oh, uh, Gus, we can get rid of that shit. Remove curse is just nice to have. There's a bunch of shit in the game that's like, oh yeah. Oh. Where's and where's and where's? I think the rest is okay. I mean, we can use hold monster. Uh, I've got tons of the actual spells. So maybe I say fuck off this. On three kingdoms of Warhammer three, absolutely sword. Happy to help you out, my man. Yeah, that's kind of why I have it, right? I I've got the ability to remove it, so we just kind of sit on it. Is there not one? <laughs> the the scroll to create water screw dizzle is just the water bottles in the game. <laughs> Hell yeah, sword. I'm happy to hear that, man. Okay, I think we're good at all that. And I'm just going to... He's going to hold on to that. We'll sell it when we get to... Uh, what's his name? Yeah, good point. Never forgotten. Okay, um, let me save this real quick. I'm so sorry, guys. If I don't do this now, it's just going to interrupt us later. Let's bring up SoundCloud again. Guys, go check out my brother's music, SoundCloud. I'm going to do a quick little be right back. I'm going to make a, they call a hardcore shit. All right. Can't hear it yet, but the music is playing. So we'll be back. Be right back.
you know, when I... got... Sit here. Can I stand here, please? Thank you. When I ordered a nitro cold brew, I did not think they would spice a colonic into the beverage. Oh. I am lighter. I am airier. I have become one with Mother Nature. Uh... I need to replenish my fluids after that, good lord. After 15 would be a conservative estimate, good lordy. Alright, so we go down here? Yeah, Hydra just did, yeah, for sure. I got the old rusty trombone. Rusty trombone. Another one, thank you. Throw bands, well I'm here to help you out, man. I'm here to help you out. Guys, if you are watching on YouTube, make that switch to Twitch. Uh, what, Yasha? Why does your character have hair and you don't? Well, Yasha, I lost 100 pounds and I had a nerve disease when I was 17, 18. So, uh, my body was like, yeah, genetically, you were, you were like 50-50 on keeping your hair. Now, it's a guaranteed no, brother. It's going to be a no for me, dog. Party comp is a bard lock, an open hand tavern brawling monk, an, a uh, gloom stalker assassin, and an op a, a tavern brother throwing barbarian. All right, let's let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can Bruce. If we can do this, do this, do that. Okay, maybe we can. Maybe put a stare in. Ecto. The microplastics. I don't think there's a way I can really kind of get him in a tricky spot. At least things have stayed interesting. Can't give up now. It's very leather like. Okay. Let's move. Who's been playing Enchanted? Is it just me? Action, not reaction. Do that. Just kind of edge people along here. Okay, that's. You are not Jihira. Can we shave Asterion? I. I was hoping to greet the High Harper beneath Saluna's tears. You have the lad a little nervous. Old timey fisticuffs guy, like yeah, see. Toppled Catherick out in the shadowlands. When I started losing my hair, um, I wore a hat, and I, I've talked about this a couple in a stream or two in the past. What I will tell you is, if you are losing your hair, fucking shave it off of your head. Don't try to fucking beat around a bush and go. Oh, if I let my hair grow and I comb it a certain way, just get rid of it. Because you are always going to wonder if people are looking at the top of your head and thinking, man, this guy's balding. Just get rid of your hair. Shave it, trim it, do whatever you got to do. I mean, if you want to do transplants or use hymns or use uh, what the other one is, but what I didn't want to do was use any of those products. And if you, if you miss like a day or a handful of days, then you fuck up and it restarts the whole process. Just get rid of it. The reason I say that is because you, in turn, will have so much more confidence in yourself and you'll project that and you won't have to worry about, like, well, I don't need to be bald, you know. Let's see if we can do it. Nope. We're going to do that. Hey, it's a natty d20. Stare at me. Study me. This Harper's face bores me. Perhaps I'll steal yours next. A steadfast supporter. I 
ooh, should I strike before the doppelgangers do? Does that cause a surprise? It's going to be a fight anyway. Like, I can't prevent that. An earnest disciple. Oh, let me do this then. Uh, because this might... Maybe if I don't do that, it won't. An earnest disciple. Ha! Surprise! Dread ambusher. Okay, are all these areas... This is not... Oh, come on, you... Oh, fucking Mind Reader, dude. Mind Reader is exclusive to this, isn't it? To, um... Is this a passive feature innately built into Honor Mode? I don't remember this being in, in non-Honor Mode. Yeah, okay. So, all them... Let's see what we can do here. I don't want to waste a ton of stuff here, you know what I mean? I don't want to... I don't want to, oh. You know, I kind of want to see what this is like. Do we want to see what Mind Blast is like? Do we want to see how Mind Blast is? If you've never, if you've never casted a, a spell like this. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh. <laughs> God, I love it. What are you doing up there, little Bilbo Baggins? You ain't gonna like this, friend. Bomb. Oh my god, that was fucking awesome. That guy is in a world of shit now. I'm looking for anything that would give me lightly obscure to get the plus one to my crit. Yeah, prone from reverb. That's why we have reverb 100%. Let's just try and... You know what? Sneaky ticky? No, I can't because it was fucking mind reader. Oh, robots in disguise. No, we can do those, this. Get up here. So we'll position her right here. Means that we now are threatening both these characters. Meaning we have advantage on both of them. If... Well, not advantage. We have the sneak attack ability right here. To do a little do -si do Oh, that's why I use this bow. 42 force damage coming in hot and heavy. I mean I could, Roy. I just don't like it. I, I don't I don't I you should have been here for the stream which had happened. I was really railing against it. Oh, so good, man. So good. And let's take Cree. So, remember I've got Cree here who's using the bow, or this halberd. But we're going to throw the Dwarven Thrower. Oh, critical fuck you. And a punch in the head. I just I, I I'm very pro illithid. <laughs> I am not. I I I don't. The illithid is like my least favorite fucking thing in the game. I, I just hate illithids, man. I I like PTSD from falling into the illithid colony in Baldur's Gate two when I was like in sixth grade, and I fucking hate it. <sighs> A harper code meant to be used for doppelgangers. Imposters, things like them. You're, you're the one High Harper Jahira sent. Did we just talk about that? Oh, thank the gods. You're the first friendly face I've seen in days, old Danthelon included. The others, they're all dead or scattered, but they were the ones. Rashima, a native of Rashima. A far eastern land known for its wild inhabitants and the witches who rule them. I... The... Just... How much farther can I go? 
You won't have to wear those, those Harper smiles much longer. Oren has given the order. Kill the crone. But not before you tell her how her little soldiers died. Preserve some hair or sinew if you can. The Chosen would like to string a harp of her own. Take all and add to wares. It is a button I wish this game had. Um, yeah, I, I, so I think that the Illithid is super strong, right? I just don't really like playing that way. I just, in general, like Eldritch Horror, mind things that invade your brain always just bother me. I just hate them. I hate them. I do not, I do not like them, Sam. I am. I don't like them with eggs nor with ham. Why am I doing this with a stereo? Another loyal devotee. I like I. Without delay. Barbin, thank you for following over here on Twitch. That's right, guys. If you are watching on YouTube, you make that switch to Twitch. It does help me out. Yeah, that's a really good way to put it, Salam. Favorite character in BG3? Uh, everyone asked me that, man, you know? And I, I, I just... I don't know, man. I really don't. I don't really have a set favorite one, to be totally honest with you. That, that should be the wares. Common table wine? You mean cooking wine. I still believe that the, the French word for it is cooking wine. It's like four pounds already. Yeah, that's just not worth it. What's in this cage? This cage door. What do you keep it in this cage, huh? Is this where the half orc sleeps? Oh, look at him. He's like, that's my fucking cage, dude. That was my fucking cage. The city's harpers appear to operate independently, each separate cell feeding into a ranking member who oversees the larger network. It's an effective method, distributing their efforts and ensuring that each unit is safeguard against the infiltration of the others. But once already compromised, this structure is their greatest weakness, with no individual harper being able to tell where the contamination began and how far it has spread. And so while they scramble, scramble to rebuild themselves, we carry on with the Chosen's work. You shits. No, it doesn't matter. It, it, uh, realistically, the so the reason I I've done like the switch to Twitch, as it were, here I, I will copy this over to YouTube for you. Right, why are my none of my commands working? Maybe it's because I'm using Restream. That could be it. Huh. Well. I switched to, uh, it's really weird. I don't know why it's not doing that. I switched to streaming on Twitch because I used to stream exclusively on YouTube. And... Oh, using the way. But YouTube will penalize me if I... I use Streamlabs for commands. But it's not, it's not being a chill bro right now. I should probably use Nightbot. Because Nightbot embeds itself into the actual chat. Um, but YouTube will penalize me if I don't do stuff on brand, basically. And I was doing a bunch of streams of Stellaris back in 2021, and it derailed my YouTube channel so hard because I was like, oh, I'm loving playing this game. I'll do a bunch of these streams. And my YouTube channel went down to like, like 300,000, 400,000 views, which is like very, very, very low for me. And I was like, it was so bad. That after a month of that, I was like, all right, I need to start polishing up my resume. I need to start looking at jobs because I don't know if I'm going to be able to bounce back. And I did a call with Spiffing Brit, who was kind enough to point out a lot of really cool things. And now my channel is bumping, but it was really scary. So I stopped around then I stopped streaming outright 
And then I swapped over to streaming now exclusively on Twitch when Dark Tide came out because it allows me to stream whatever the fuck I want. I can play whatever music I want and I don't have to deal with it. Um, but I, sh I restream now to YouTube because YouTube's policy has kind of changed and it's also on brand. When I did the Enshrouded stream the other day, I did restream it, but I probably won't do that again. Yeah, if I want to play loads of different games, I have to... If For those of you that watched me before Baldur's Gate came out, you probably saw me do a ton of Diablo content before Diablo came out. And then before Baldur's Gate 3 came out, I did a ton of Di Baldur's Gate 3 content. Because you can't, you can, you can just do content when the game comes out. But if you don't quote unquote prime the, the algorithm, then the algorithm's just going to go, okay, let's see if you're a one off. And they won't feed you a ton of views. You have to kind of pepper it a little bit for it to go, oh, cool, here you go. Here, here's the, here's all the attention you want. So right now, if you were to type in Baldur's Gate 3, my shit comes up. But it didn't at first. So that's why I released like a Dungeons and Dragons 5 or 5th edition kind of player's handbook as it pertains to BG3 intro before the game came out. I did it for every single class. And the mech, the, the, uh, sticking to the same game or same type of game. A uh, little bit of both, Sponge. A little bit of both. Like, if I were to do a Total War YouTube stream, it'd be okay, but I haven't covered A, strategy games, or B, Total War games in a long time. If I were to cover another CRPG, I'd probably be fine because this is a CRPG. But if I wanted to do Call of Duty, they'd be like, who the fuck are you, guy? We're not going to push this out to anyone that you that views you. Uh, it's not going to go into the greater algorithm for Call of Duty because this is your one-off of Call of Duty. That's the kind of the, the shitty thing about doing YouTube is you have to constantly deal with this fucking ethereal, enigmatic... Um, algorithm that changes on a whim because YouTube changes all their search algorithms every, very regularly every handful of months because they're trying to prevent people from gaming it aren't they just what can I do for you sir well welcome aboard happy to have you here Raymond oh man You have got nothing. Nothing that would help me. What's up? Go for it. How you doing, dude? Give me those fingers. Fucking finger. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, God. That's expensive. Throw bands. I think you might have actually subbed up to someone perpetually. Like, like told the the system, like, yeah, I just throw my sub to this per person every month. Do I buy these? This is a good idea. I feel like it's not. It never does? Okay, I think I thought it could. You're thinking, Scrudelzo, you're thinking more of Twitter. I'll do that instead. I don't need the rest of this shit. This poop. This poop from a butt. Oh, those are pretty good. Um, What makes... Okay... What makes... I need, like, the thing that makes potions, you know what I mean? Um, cause yeah, this is an ingredient, but what's the other thing I need? Yeah, the other ingredient. Bottom. Like salts, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember. 
ones on YouTube. This is my first time watching you on Twitch. I really enjoy your content. You're the man. Thank you very much, Throw Bands. I appreciate it, dude. I guess I never really kind of thought that part out. I just know they're like, oh yeah, I put a little bit of this in there, a little bit of that in there, and go make this potion here. Like, let's take a look. Crack this, this mystery wide on open. Goob. Okay, so if I want to make... Let's just say look at Cloud Giant. So I need any suspension. So specifically suspensions. As we look over here. So that's Bullywug. Okay. Oh, okay. I appreciate that, man. I'd love to ha love to have you around more. Hello again, sir. What can I do for you? This was one of them. Um... What uh? What are other ones were on that list? <laughs> That was one of them. These ones were on there. Bullywug was on there. Mergrass? Where is it? Mugwort. Dagger Root. Asm Creeper. Gothai Lost the Light. Where? That one? This one? Yeah, okay. Land poison spool. Uh, barter allows me to kind of set it up a little bit better. Uh, Shul master versus trade is I double click it and I buy it immediately. This way I can set up, okay, okay, you know what? Let's put that in there. Let's put this in there. I don't need that. I fuck off a flute. I'm not going to sell. I'm not going to use that. Okay, now at least I can see exactly what I'm buying and I can kind of offset it by some of the shit. Like, yeah, you know, I'm not going to use scroll of this, you know? But yeah, spider silk. I didn't see spider silk in here though. So now I can kind of offset the cost of this. Does that help? Does that answer the question for you? Yasha, you just love the bald thing, don't you, dude? You've been on that a long time now at this point. <laughs> See that. Oh, mirror grass. Here we go. Um, then just barter the rest, like kind of fill up the the difference there, and then we're good to go. Versus if I press trade, well, okay, let's take a look at like this. I just buy it, you know. This way, I can kind of not sell all you're willing to, and then buy what you can afford after. So, Shrill Master, the reason I don't do that is the discount on this guy is seven, only 76%. We can actually get more if I hold on to all of this that I have to sell when I go into the, the next city, the next location, which I have a character that I can sell all of this for more. So yeah, sure, I can go ahead and sell all this for $7.94, but I can sell it to the character who's going to give me more money and that will result in me having more money to then just buy what I want rather than having to kind of, okay, let me do this. Let me do that. Let me do this. Let me do that. Like, sure. I can just sell all this, but there is, we're, since we're in honor mode, there's a little bit of a min maxi where I'm trying to approach when it comes to money because of the increased to cost of certain items in this game in, in, in honor mode. Yeah, that's a really good way to put it. The barter is like filling your cart with all you want and then decide after you see all you want. Versus me just going click, 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 click. Oh shit, I actually didn't need that. Like, you can kind of really... This is just kind of like... Okay, you know, yeah, just one minute, let's offset that. Like, it's kind of a nice... It's a little bit better. But, but in all honesty, dude, play how you want. Like, it's not going to make that much of a difference. It's just me, like, I enjoy... I 
I enjoy kind of approaching it a little bit more measured. Oh yeah, guys, by the way, too. Join the Discord. I mean, I don't really mind it, but... I've yet to be honorable. <laughs> yeah, you know, in, in the... In the default mode, like in balanced, I could just cast friends on someone and get a huge discount. So there's no reason for me to kind of go crazy with it. But in this con in this, so for example, this ring is super expensive in this mode. In balance mode, this is it's a green ring. It's not even very rare. It's just green. So it's way cheaper. So I have to offset a lot of that. And the way I offset it, it was by buying, by picking up every little thing, dude. Like, look at this. Rags? Who the fuck picks up rags? But you pick up one, two, three, four, five, and that's five gold. You know, you just kind of, you do a lot of that. You stack it up, and that's what we have up here at the top. You can see party gold is 15,000. So I can afford to outright buy pretty much everything I'm going to need for this build now for the for the remainder of the playthrough. Okay, Um. anything else I need to do? Should I go do the Raphael portion? Oh, did someone did someone donate? How much was that donation for? I couldn't, God damn it. I only have my YouTube, my, my Twitch up, and that doesn't tell me the thing. It'll come to my email in a bit. Notification payment received. Max, you donated a dollar. Thank you very much, my dude. I'm also a Luke Goblin. No one here is worth talking to. Caress is caress. That's where what's his nuts is, right? Mm-hmm. Let's do. New people want a jaunty tune? Damn it, do fucking shit. Keep failing. I gotta fix this bullshit. Yeah, I was about to say, I, I that's why I switched to staring as fast as I like, oh no, 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 guidance, guidance. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I fucked that up. There's no one I need to talk to in here aside from the the Hollyfunt, right? To another case closed, another bottle open. Huzzah! Guys, I'm really good at this. Fuck. <laughs> Hang on a sec. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I bet she's Put you up to something. Why must you busybodies in? You remind me of Devella. Fine. If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? The hell, all BG3 streamers are playing this game. For me, it is just, you need to rush a certain point to do a certain thing. That's okay, man. That's just the way you like to play games. I don't like to play that way because it takes all the fun, all the narrative out of it. Like, so you just skip all this narrative and just kind of choose, like, dialogue options? That's it? As not for me. That's quite the discovery. Doesn't tell me everything, though. Why was Logan killed? No. I want proof. Come back when you've got some... Well, I thought I had the real evidence. What else did I miss?
I got the dagger. And he had just said, you don't, I need more than the murder weapon. I basically need motive. Oh, did I just sell that? I might have sold it. Let's go see if I let's go see if I sold it. Ooh, ooh. How long do you fix last? It depends on the person. Flop house hidden room. I did not go to the flop house yet. Summons curlies, of course. Oh, clear out there. <laughs> of course they did. I'm guessing I have some tidying to do before this. I've had enough dealings with Harpers. I don't care much for your timing, but I like your gold well enough. Maybe this one. It's a her. Oh, it might be this too. You destroy a bed. Look at this. I, I got this. I have the still maker. Do that. Short fat. Oh, you short fat. I'm gonna do something I haven't done in a long time for lunch, my bros. What does it feel like? I'm going to get McDonald's. Is this the flop house? No. Flop house is on the other side of the flop crest, right? Right here. They're better than McDonald's. McDonald's is great, though, you know? It, McDonald's has a certain kind of, like, nostalgic feel. I, be, I am on a caloric deficit, as it is called. A cut. That's right. You come up here. I remember this now. And these guys are doppelgangers, right? Oh, no, they're vampires. <laughs> oh! A harmonic... Do much for the cavalry riding this is what we get for putting our faith in a network of spies i suppose where's the ladder is it in here oh is it the blood of lathander that made that happen I don't remember what happens. Can't you do, you fight them, don't you? That's pretty cool though. Since that that oh, there's the ladder. I remember this part now. I would have loved to have read that though. I should probably do this. I've got a long road ahead. Well, hello. Fuck. Someone in the comments is like, turn on sharpshooter all in. I'm like, I think it is on. It's not. Okay, this isn't on too? That's not good. I'm fighting I've been playing the game harder than I need to.
Oops. Watch your back. Let's move. Not a bad idea. Pretty good idea, actually. You're fucking smart. The shapeshifter's key fit perfectly. Now, what's inside? There it is. There, I'm there. Someone's I notice some blood has pooled on the wooden floor. Notice the blood source. A body hit. Pull out the body. Piffindor Golden Ring. Identical to the one I took from the shapeshifter in the temple tunnels. You know what really what his voice reminds me of more than anything? Is a like so so uh Simon Templeman? It's like a haughtier Simon Templeman. And Simon Templeman is the voice actor who did Kane in Legacy of Kane. Uh, honestly. Who picked up all good like this? Uh, honestly. Who picked like this? Okay, we will. Should have the amulet to do that. I guess I have it back at the camp. I'll just use one of these. I love that. Uh, this, it's such an, a cool bit that they added into this game. The corpse regards you ruthlessly. <coughs> I'm joking on water. <coughs> I never played a Resident Evil game. That helps. Holy shit. Ugh. Seeking <clears throat> answers. My boy had a secret. Evil <clears throat> secret. I just say bless you anyway. <clears throat> Man, the Dungeons and Dragons movie when they did the speak the speak dead, that was so good. <clears throat> Me. The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Ill made a temple. Didn't see. Chance, what's up, dude? Yeah, when. When, uh, <clears throat> when what's his name fucks up his concentration on his illusion, it's so funny. <clears throat> you too, dude. Have a good night, man. Or good day. Whatever it is. Eat them wings, baby. <clears throat> I've heard it's really good. Oh, the scarlet leather. <clears throat> Run's going well, dude. Run's going well. Scarlet leather's pretty cool, by the way. I mean, it looks awesome. If you've not seen it, here you go. Really cool looking. <clears throat> Kitty cat's grace. Meow. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> I know there's something in one of these. You know what? I purchased a digital... I, I've got the... I actually have a physical copy of it. But a digital copy of Red, Ready Player One as well. I love that fucking movie. Uh, there's... One of these chests has something in it, right? I can't remember whose it is. <clears throat> I remember picking them all open. I did not read play at Ready Player One, unfortunately. But maybe it's, maybe it's Fifians? Fifians? <clears throat> what now? You do a little bit of this. <clears throat> You trust these steel watcher thingy jigs? Time for the screen. Mm, mind me. Easy. The old destruct. Everyone subscribes to what is. Radio remote. You can see me. Can I do it now, do we think? <clears throat> no one stopped me yet. What if they build a mission? Oh. To concentrate. Oh. Maybe the darkness would be more open to trading. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Not a Fucking thing in here, dude. I'm here. <clears throat> a new, mostly blank book with only a handful of diary entries. I've not written a diary before. Bash Kent said it might do wonders to settle my mind. Maybe distance is just what happens when the weans grow up, but it's still hard. My boys never left the nest before, or really never cared to. I know he's older than me, older than most who still live with their mam, their mams, <clears throat> but I've never cared about that, and I don't think he has either. It's just it's so differently too, secretive, rude, brash. Gods, I I don't know about it. I don't know about it. About this. About this. Maybe Dash Kent was wrong. I don't feel better at all. <clears throat> Man, that choke on water, sorry, it fucked me up. <clears throat> bunch of vampires down here? You guys a bunch of vampires? You fucking vampires, you vampires. What did I drop? Oh, yeah, take the knife. Oh, I, I picked up a knife on accident. <laughs> Oops, I clicked down here and clicked up, picked up a knife. <laughs> like, don't steal, like, oh, take that butter knife back, baby. Okay. <clears throat> and there's the, there's the, the sexy drow over here. I want to have a butt fuck party. You put that. You put that butter knife down. Guys, if you are watching on YouTube, do make that switch to Twitch. It helps me out. Do a switch to Twitch. The Drow Twins, baby. I presume you found something interesting to discuss if you're interrupting me again. A ball developer's been hard. I assumed it. Oh, fine. I'll bite. No need to wave documents at me. Constable de Vella, since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you <coughs> slow and... Well, what are you waiting for? You've a bloody conspiracy... What the fuck was that? Move. 
Damage, Marcus. Thank you, bro. <clears throat> John wants everyone to know he's worthless. John, you don't need to talk about yourself like that. I'm sure people like and appreciate you for who you are. There is a shapeshifter in here. Damage Marcus, though. Thank you very much for 7-Up with Prime, my dude. Any reason to do this conversation with Raphael? Oh, I was like, I was like, John, don't call me worthless. How dare you? The drows are worthless, though. Unless you want to have a sex party. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, I just don't know if we do, do we need to do that conversation. Like I, I, I think now we're kind of like on a on a on a quick ramp to getting the gold die. Right? We want to end the game quickly. Oh, can I not do? Can I not start the House of Hope if I don't go here? Oh, Voss is with him too. Unfortunately, we can't get anything from the fucking sword. <clears throat> Mike, yeah, I was going to wait for us to do that part. Ready to pair notification. Right there, baby. I've actually not gone. Um, <laughs> what do you mean, Aaron? Um, I've actually not gone to this with Voss here. I, I, when I did it, Voss was already dead, I think. I mean, I, I mean, put on a white beater, though, baby. Don't you worry about it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Yeah, that, that's see, that's the thing is, are we going to do the House of Hope? It's the only big challenge fight that I'm thinking that we actually do. I don't know if it's the hardest fight. I think I thought the House of Grief was way harder. <clears throat> Jesus, man. <clears throat> he apparently comes after Gale now, even if you steal the contract. Huh? Name the price. Is there anything dumber than a we didn't. We don't just try some tough fights. Fights. Thank you. I will. <clears throat> I will do whatever it takes <clears throat> to you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do Yes, shout out hearts peeps. And you never will. I'm not doing the house of grief. We're not Kithrax, period. What deal would you <clears throat> make with this devil? You must help me, Raphael. For the sake of my people. This face fucked now, up. Boss. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have Is it the globe of, of invulnerability? Offer in return. <clears throat> Lazel, to lack my gear. The oh. devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. All right, Diversion, have a going, dude. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room. Once you're loosed from his claws. <clears throat> I'm glad you came. Not to my door, 
One more thing before... For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. <laughs> Wouldn't that be exquisite? But no. I'm afraid the tadpole is... The Illithid can't hear us. So, what do you guys think? I'm, I'm down to do the House of Hope, but I do think it's going to be a very dangerous fight. I think it's going to be a little wild. I'm not sure how it's going to go. Um, <clears throat> it does not, Aphrodite. You have to get to Act 3 to get the, uh, the, the gold die. What we get from the House of Hope is the entire Helldust set. We get the Soul Perception Gloves, which are actually going to be very good. Um... We get the amulet, the, the constitution amulet. Well, this isn't, this isn't what don't you get? <laughs> Well, if we lose, we that's what we don't get. <clears throat> Resaturation? Restoration? By the way, so not... Just matter it needed before do you get the... Are you talking about Pretty Happy Bunny? Are you killing machines? They are, we are. A, send the contract, get the hammer, and can go to the house to steal your contract. B, don't sign, go to steal the hammer. I just don't know what happens if you don't have the hammer. Uh, yeah, I've, I've done option B. I've not signed the contract here, and I've gone and stolen the hammer. You can loot the place minus the armor and the bracers, right? I don't know. <clears throat> I brought you here because I'm true to my word. And I can make all of this tadpole business go away. Which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Unless some have already sprouted in places I can't see. Let us speak plain. Yeah, the Helldusk armor is on Raphael. Same thing with the, the, the bracers. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far. But no matter how far you come, you're still on a bed. You have the key to destroying it. In no, no, no. It is the... I Speak, devil. We're listening. The Orphic Hammer. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely... Isn't it just? <clears throat> and it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. Edge, do we know if it's infinite use, though, on honor mode? Power. You free Orphea. And you. And you, Lazel of Kalir, want to free the Forgotten Prince, do you not? I want I say? nothing more. Then it is, it is a one time use in honor mode. Okay, a crown for a hammer, a bargain of a wait. Are we saying it is a one time or is infinite on honor mode? No, it's infinite. Okay, okay. Should I miss that dialogue? What do you say? At best, it will kill you anymore. I'm gonna have to ruin. Wait, what? <clears throat> Pow. I, that was the great. I was there. And men cast. I am a That the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils. And that I could use that crap. The hells require order to fight. With the crown, I would impose perfect order. It was stolen from right under my the arch, so my I and these they brought the crown. 
back into play. Yes, it does. Especially, they must have raided Mephistoph. <clears throat> but they'll be. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand. It is inevitable. When you destroy the brain, and you will, because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when you should love, I love the way he comes, sings. <laughs> you give the crown to me in exchange. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. He wants the crown. Yes. He wants that crown to control the nine hells. Each ring of the nine hells. Well, each ring of the hells. All nine of them. There's no guarantee that Orpheus would be. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. He claims his ambition is to unite the hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? Skvar! We should do as the devil asks. The prince of the comet must rise again. <clears throat> I don't know what to do. I really don't. I really don't know. Like, yeah, the items are good. I... <clears throat> Let's look at this way. I'm not going to use the Helldusk armor. So if we skip the house... We'll side with Gortash. Gortash, Gortash. The bolt, what's the bolt? Oh, and then bolt, I got you. Yeah, that's what I'm like, okay, we can... So... <clears throat> we won't be able to get the gloves. That's the only thing we won't be able to get. Um, full catching gloves, BG3. And they're good. Their they're gloves with full catching are, 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 are not shitty. Your unarmed attacks now deal an additional... 1 to 10 force damage. And once per turn, an unarmed hit... On an unarmed hit, you regain 10 hit points. Alternatively, you may forego healing to gain advantage on attack rolls and saving throws until the end of your turn, and you also get plus 2 to your constitution. <clears throat> yeah, that 1 to 10 force is doubled on a crit is a good point, yeah. You, those different gloves, MG21. You're thinking of the uh, the gloves of Hill Giant Strength. Yeah, soul, cat, soul catching gloves. Yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah, that's the uh, the hill giant strength. That's your strength to twenty three, which I could put on our tavern brawler, our our, our throwing barb, and then I can also use the. Uh, you know what? That's not going to help because adding the I had that plus two strength potion. That plus two strength potion doesn't add onto the twenty three. The strength it sets to twenty three. Period. If you already have 23 strength, it doesn't add, set it higher. Yeah, I just don't know what we do. I, okay, so like, let me, let's talk through the end of the game right now. Um, yeah, the clouds, that's what we're talking about. The cloud, the cloud giant strength, or uh, hill giant strength gloves. If we side with him and we don't do the house of hope, we're not going to do the house of grief. We've already decided that. We side with Gortash, right? 
Um, what is left to do aside from the final fight? We have the counting house. We're starting with Gortash, so we're not doing the steelworks, right? Defeat Orin, the Hag. So final fight. Uh, let's just say counting house. Orin, um, the defeat the Hag. Gloves of Hill Giant Strength. 23 Strength, John. There's a sewer. The sewer. Just the sewer in general. Sorcerer Sundries. Sorcerer Sundries. Casador, we're going to skip. Even though I really want to see what that, that does. But I think from a risk perspective, we're going to skip Casador. Just because I want to get this... I want to get the golden die, and then when we come back here with the barded in, we're going to do everything. I, I actually haven't done the Mystic Carrion stuff. Is it worth it? Yeah, Yosarian, we'll, we'll, we'll cheese our way through that. Like, I'll just look up stuff to do that the right Good staff for the necrotic damage, but we're not doing really necrotic damage in this build. <clears throat> or using necrotic spells for that matter. It's necrotic damage, or necro necromancy, whatever the fuck it is. MG21 just brought up a pretty good point. Don't use any radiant damage in HOH. We have a lot of... Eight, um, oh yeah, we, we can just go by the Hood of the Weave. We don't need to do anything else besides from discover the door, pick the lock, walk in there, talk to him, Hood of the Weave. I can use the Blood of Lathander on Kazdor, yeah. And daylight. I don't have the spell daylight though. We can use a, get a scroll of it, I think. <clears throat> so, how your characters and my allies you have, the easier the final fight is. And that's another big thing too, Johnny Zos, is I don't really know how we how we're going to build up allies because we're skipping the answer fight. We're not doing that. Period. I guess we're siding with Gortash, so. There's a ring with daylight? There's a ring with light. I don't know if there's one with daylight. Yeah, answer, we're not even touching. I, actually, to, to be fair, we could probably fucking ass crush answer. He's probably not that hard of a fight. Yeah, we're doing the Sorcerer Sundries. That's probably, probably next, Alex. Yeah, Veil of the Morning. Put it on uh, What's Your Nuts. Roland from Lorakon. Did you watch if you say the elephant from Sar Saver? Uh... The elephant from Saravok? The holophant? I don't remember that. <clears throat> Is Flora Clive? I don't remember. <clears throat> Alright, my safe little corner. Good seeing you, my dude. I have it on the Thief's Guild stuff. I realize final fight is useful too. I haven't done her either. You need to have advantage on safe reactions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I'd say if you're on Twitch, we'll do a vote here. If you're on YouTube, switch to Twitch. Here's the vote right now. New poll. Do we sign the deal? Yes. No house of hope. Sign Raphael's deal. No. Do House of Hope. <clears throat> Pull is up right now. I want to see what you got. I, I have executive right to sway this vote however I wish, but the if you do not see the poll, go ahead and refresh the stream if you're watching on Twitch. And if you're watching on YouTube, jump on over to Twitch to answer this poll. So right now we're deciding, do we sign the deal with Raphael? And if we sign the deal, if you don't have the... I, don't, I, I do not know... Uh, Salami. Uh, even if we do the House of Hope, we get the hammer. <clears throat> we'll, we'll, ooh, actually, I don't know. I think we'll go fight Saravok. I don't have to sign the deal, right? Uh, I don't have to sign the deal, comma, you are right. Um, well, the helmet's on the top floor. We can still go get the, we can still go get the helmet. 
yeah, I, I didn't sign this deal at all, period. I just said, I'm leaving. And he goes, well, you can come back here and sign it if you want. <clears throat> you think? Do you really think we're going to need it? Why, Aaron? Well, that's my point. If we do the House of Hope, then the answer is no. If we do the if we do not do the House of Hope, the answer is yes. Fourteen of you say do the House of Hope. Eight of you say no. Don't do the House of Hope. <clears throat> no, yeah, we're doing Sarabok. It's it's too fun to skip him. Take the deal and betray him. We can do that. I thought you couldn't betray Devil's deals. Do I have some sort of special power to do that? You sleepy boy over there. Be equipped and ready for work. Now. Oh, you can see their contract back. You'll destroy the contract now. So. I do love that. I do love that. The fight for for Raphael, I think, is my favorite fight in the game so far. <clears throat> So now I don't know what you guys want. <laughs> so 11 of you say, don't go to the House of Hope. And 16 of you say, go to the House of Hope. So now it sounds like you guys are telling me, sign the contract and go to the House of Hope. I still think, though, that we have to, we have to get 12 regardless. Well, the poll, if you're skipping answer, I think House of Hope is a must. <gasps> All right, so now the vote went no. So say no deal, we do the House of Hope. Or <clears throat> So I guess now the bigger question is, sounds like you guys want me to do the House of Hope. Do we sign the deal, then do the House of Hope, or don't sign the deal and do the House of Hope? Like Now I'm confused on that regard. <clears throat> Okay, we'll do a new poll then. I'll, I'll make it a shorter poll. Oops, that's a raid. <clears throat> so... We've made the decision. We are doing the House of Hope. Yeah, I was going to just... No. We're not going to skip the House of Hope, it sounds like. It sounds like you guys want me to do the House of Hope. <laughs> Is there any reason to get the hammer right away? Does it piss off her if I don't go get it? Like, I mean... Should I just press no right now? I kind of feel like that's the way to go. Thank you, Nerdworks. <clears throat> I won't stop you. If you It just kicks me out too. The means to loosing the prince of the comet was within our <clears throat> grasp, and you refused it. Why?
Look, I wanted to follow the open valley, the easy way out. You chose the bramble path. I'm annoyed by it. And I admire you for it. You want a thick speak with Voss. <laughs> then we find we'll take the Orphic hammer. Yisk Githkar Chafki crash it. The Gith Yankee will be free. There you are. I thought I'd lost you. I'm here at Puddin' Pants. Blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Raphael, of course. I should have known the devil would come sniffing. The stench of impending chaos. And what did he want with you? Yeah, you're gonna go thieving, and Raphael's like, well, fuck that. Heard that shit. <clears throat> we did not take the deal chance. How very... What were the terms of this deal? Tell me you turned him down. Good. I am glad. But be careful. The devil is like a cockroach. He gets mad. So, so you, you come out of the House of Hope, and if you have the hammer, he goes, it, it's like a relationship. You're like, oh, I'm not going to use the hammer. He goes, but now I don't trust you. Because it's like, he's like, you've forsaken my trust in the simple act of doing it. Like, we're together to, to finish this off to the end, but you've, like, forsaken. Like, you didn't trust me in my, in my sentence here, in my statements here. It's like, oh, man, oh. Fuck, I've heard this before. I've dated I've dated people like this. Oh, does he say that? I don't remember him saying that. You can't come to my secret fucking mine castle anymore. Voss, friend to the comet. Lazel of Kalir, warrior of warriors. Yo, why don't you to get a fucking room, huh? The devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. If you use the hammer, the Emperor will join the Elder Brain and fight you in the last fight? Dibram, no! Spoiler, but I didn't... I don't want to... I, I kind of like the Emperor. <laughs> I know he's super manipulative and a shitty dude, you know? Like, uh, I'm not interested in practice... I want you want me to do three? It's an easier fight to sever the Emperor, yes. Or one. Is it one or three? Okay. Uh oh, 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 oh. I mean, is it really that worth it, bros? Aberrations, fiends, and elementals. It only gives me a bonus against those creatures. And all my stuff is... Okay, so that'll work. When the wearer deals additional damage equal to their wisdom with unarmed strikes. If you click one, it gives you a better sword. I mean, this is really good in the Act 1, because this is the sword you can get from an Act 1, right? No, I didn't take anything on Act 1. Oh, that's right. There's a legendary one. Like the Sword of the Silver Astral Planes or whatever. The Silver Sword of the Astral Planes or whatever. <clears throat> Is it the same one as this? I mean, the same effects. Same effects, sorry. Is it just a better... I believe you, I believe you, I believe you. But I'm asking if I should buy this sword right now, is, is what I'm asking. She can still wield it, because because Gith can wear, can wield short, long, and great sword. No, deceive him? Okay. Really? I want to deceive him? Is it going to piss her off? 
No, I don't use swords. She's she's unarmed. That's why I'm like, is it really worth it? I don't like in this boat. Yeah, she's a monk. Pursuing strike resident. Yeah, I kind of still, I kind of still like sticking with just like no weapon on her. There is no cost too high to unshackle my people. I did not come this far for you to turn your back on the first mother's son. Gith cards have Kim crashed. You put your trust in me, Voss. I plan to honor it. Yes, and it seems I have no choice but to trust. There is but one prism, and you are its key. Find a way to retrieve. Uh, monk weapon is any weapon you are proficient in. Correct, Dribbon. But there are certain things, certain items that say unarmed strikes. Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against Oh, and that aren't two handed. Good point, Salami. I forgot. I will wait in the underground. What's up, peace dog. Seek me when you have the hammer in hand. <clears throat> my brothers are messaging me. A devil of Raphael's stature does not simply make the house of the house of hope. You say, I couldn't ask for a name more. Every house has an entrance, Istic. Even those in the hells, you must find. You I'll go are find it. your time and mine. Our true enemy is the Elder Brain. Focus your mind there. Hoots. I'll take take it. Boy. The boss might be a devil, but he'll treat you more honestly than anyone else in this. I Raphael can stop it. He wants You can see her throughout the whole entire game. And What's up, you? How. You're the key. He's a devil. It's his nature. He needs to get his due. And it's hard to get leverage on an illithid. Okay, uh, anything else we need to do here that I can't think of? I mean, I can go talk to the, the little dudes, the gnomes, but... I think we just... What's this? There's Nimble. There's Nimble? Fox Nimble. Before the merger into the battle ball. Break Floric out of prison. Where's Floric? <coughs> Thank you. 
We freed the courier dogs. And all round pleasant folks, from what I've heard. The prison under Worms Rock, we will do. Do we do that now, or do I go to Worms Rock first? I mean, because you can jump to it from over here. <clears throat> you can jump to it from right here. We're just skipping Kazdor. That's also in the... Uh... Oh, we, we definitely can't. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't say to do that. I didn't say to do that. Uh, I like the closet because it can scare things. Uh, what we would do here, though, is fly down and just go right in. No, I know that you, they'll let you me in, but not into the actual dungeon. <clears throat> Tyler Gamer, you can't hear. Monk weapons are those which the monk has proficiency and which do not have two-handed weapons or heavy pro properties, which is what a two-handed uh, greatsword is. So it would not make it a monk weapon. We would still have proficiency in it, <clears throat> which is typically what we want to go with, right? But uh, it's not going to help us with a lot of our other stuff. We're not going to. It's not going to count as a monk weapon, so it won't benefit from all of our monk weapon capabilities. So we don't really get a, pun a ton of good stuff from it. Greetings, Fratello. Oh, I know. I'm just saying, like, that's why we're not doing it. <clears throat> Sorry, chum. Can't let you through. Worms rocks closed for the day. Oh, that's cool. I'm Lord Gartash's new occultist. Let me pass or your name goes in the Book of Vile Darkness. Valeria? Well, I'm not messing about with a murder inquiry. Straight ahead across the bridge. Right. Well, that's what I said. Anything that has a conversation option... <clears throat> that speaks to your class means that it'll be a lower dc entry, but your trespass shall not be punished lord gortash the watcher's presence fades but another takes my most esteemed guest we meet at last i am lord enver gortash wasn't he a, didn't they also do a voice in, in fable three slayer of the dread general Catherick thorn i welcome you to Baldur's gate my city Of course, of course. My steel watchers are rather adept at keeping the peace, but not entirely suitable for polite conversation. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. Lamp, it just seems like a very risky fight for a, a highly resistible damage type. He did play Lucius Malfoy, correct? He's he's but he's voiced a ton of games. You can steal something from one of these chests, and it's got a cool armor in it. Look who it is, Ms. Mazora, and she's gonna tell me to choose between. If it isn't little Will's chums, heard about his father? He's upstairs in work. A splendid. Sh I'd hate for him to. Patrick was the coolest one. 
Just wanted to get this. Uh, this chest, I think, is the one that has a little ditty. Let's rehearse this one more time. Pretend I'm a fist. So it'll be interesting here because in my playthrough, I told Gortash to fuck off. And I went down to his little aquatic basement. <clears throat> his little subterranean prison. And I freed people. So he already doesn't like me. We're not killing Gortash. We're gonna side. We're siding with Gortash, correct? Because that is what's gonna allow us to uh, uh, beat the game faster, correct? That's what we're doing. Siding with Gortash, killing Orin, doing House of Hope. Yeah, we skip still, still watching Iron Throne. In the name of the Steel Watch, aggressive action will not be tolerated in the presence of the patriarchs of this proud city. The Steel Watch, a pre dearest patriarchs, but a moment. Freak me out. I must greet a most honored guest. My friend, forgive the cold welcome. Uh, the Ballist Army, do you, armor, armor, do you have to side with Ball to get it, or can you kill Sarabok and still get it? Is it in the sewers? I, I've not gone to the sewers. I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that nether stone that you carry. You know, it takes all three to control the brain. I want that armor. Without Thorm's, it's become vexingly willful. The quakes are a clear warning. If Me no too, throw bands. I'm excited to see this. From the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the sword coasts infected. Need to kill Valyria? A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand Oh, design. okay. The mind flayer empire. Maybe we do that with the paladin. We, we side with Soren and, and Saravok. Kind of crazy, right? It definitely would break. Would break, break an oath for sure. Not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided. If you and I come to an understanding... Why is Noel Fielding trying to take over the world? We can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. So deciding with Gortash put the Emperor against me. There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Neverstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know, she's tricked you before. What, where do I get the Crater Flesh Gloves? Are those also from being a Baal's assassin? But she's extremely good at what she does. Is the vengeance really a good paladin, though? You know what I mean. They really, they really ends justify the means. Little evil for a bit greater good. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. You sweet, I feel you. I'd like to propose a pact, a divine oath sworn upon spirit. I'm looking up these gauntlets here, so the 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 sound probably cut out. Sounded okay. Slay Orin and take her stone. Bring it here. So the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. 
Well, the what Vengeance Pally, you know, is kind of like a... Shall we be a darkness? Ah, pretty. I can detect I've been eating sticky bun, though. Oh, boy. This alliance could serve us well. Up. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. An ally could be great, be useful, At least for now. How are you feeling, Yeager? He's no longer useful. Well, we can dispose of him then. I just, I had to take his cloak off. I wanted to see his face. Wait, why do I need the bond? Why do I need the bard portion of this? I love that. I love that I had that ring of truthfulness. I mean, I could examine. It's not going to matter. I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well, dude. So I'm doing two. My word is my bond. We shall be allies and orange shall be dead. Yeah. Y'all are shady. <laughs> Fucking weird, dude. You're acting weird. Make the pact. Pretty happy, but anyway, it'll, it'll bind the pact. Should I do any of these other ones? Is that worth it for any reason? For any fucking... And I ask you guys these things because I've gone through this stuff before and I've chosen I've chosen most of the options I like to explore explore a bunch of things. Um, but in the pretense of this specific playthrough, I'm wanting to get through stuff. So I ask you stuff like, hey, does this insight give me things into the future that I just don't know about or I've, I've forgotten? No, we don't. Uh, we there, we definitely won't be able to, Mike. But we'll get a good chunk into. We actually ooh, we're streaming for like forty-five more minutes. <laughs> Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you. I, his face, man. They just they could have made a better person here. Then let it be rich by the black hand. I think of all the characters you interact with in this game: good, bad, antagonist, protagonist, all this stuff. He is. We will voiced the best not the best he's voiced very well sorry he is the weakest looking in the face it's just his face it's just right here if he just looked different here he'd be just fine who i can't say i'd suggest a thorough investigation you'll find i speak the truth a doppelganger hidden among us squaw the faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. It's screwed, Izzy. You're fucking hilarious. Between us would be exceedingly short-lived. Okay, thanks, pretty happy bunny. That's huge. <clears throat> Even horror. Oh, doesn't he kidnap someone now? From doesn't she kidnap someone from my? For all its charms. Or do I have to go to the inn for to her to start her kidnap fucking thing? To That's where Orin became what she is, where she worshipped and schemed. And now it's I'm so excited to do my first Dark Urge playthrough too. She's not spilling blood in the streets. You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay, thank you. Pretty happy because that's when she kidnapped Lazel on my playthrough. It's not, but it will not follow new orders unless the Neverstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. First or in next in such next the faithful will do next in the name of their god. More importantly, now come be <clears throat> with us as I make history as the first archduke of Yeah, I, that's why I've got this whole party. We're good with the 
If you want it, cheese who she takes, take the people you don't want to miss and go into the sewers. Okay, so if I would take this party right now, she would take some from the camp. Good, yeah. That's what happened to me. Then we proceed. The Distinguished dukes, patriarchs. I'm going to skip through this. If you haven't seen it, I want you to I want to preserve it at least for your own playthrough. I've already gone through this here. I swear gather guests. Grant ye consent. I always wonder what happens if you do like say nothing or nod, you know? Like I wonder if it happens like I'll just I'll nod. My and you Okay. Um Oh yeah, if I object, yeah. Like, it shit gets wild, right? But is there any kind of sneaky, steely stuff I should do in here? If you object, the Emperor stops you. Oh, really? That's kind of cool. I love that shit, man. This place. Is oh, this music is... Got a fine pop to it. Had Will's father relocated? R Raven. Or is there? I'm the Duke. If I do the prison, does it affect anything? All right, Bo, have a go on, brother. It does break the deal if I go to the prison. Oof, now I'm freaking out, bros. Why am I freaking out? Well, we're not doing answer. It did for me. What do you mean it did for you? So... Iron Throne, yeah, yeah, the, not, yeah, not the Iron Throne, not the Iron Throne. I'm talking about this prison here in Wormrock, not the, uh, not the Iron Throne prison, the this prison here. Well, we're not using any th lava bird beer. We're not using any two-handed weapons. Yeah, that's exactly it. I want to go free her. So, should we go take the secret path or just go down the the main way here? Is yeah, exactly right. Like we're skipping a lot of like really juicy items that more often than not, I think we'd all get. We do kind of want the experience. We're we're not close to eleven. You can still kill all the guards in the secret route too, though. Which I might just take the secret route. Really, an your boy. All right, Hugh Getney, have a good one, bro. No, we're, we'll, there's nothing, I mean, the only thing that we would get from answer that I would care about would be the helmet. So, Crater Flesh Gloves. When we score a critical hit deal, an additional 1d6. Ooh. Fallest armor. Aura of murder. Enemies within six and a half feet become vulnerable to piercing damage unless they are resistant to immune. Or immune to it. Again, a plus two bonus to initiative. That's fucking sick. Oh, there was actually something I was going to get. Pain. 
Okay, you sure? Because we can just go fisticuffs in here then, right? Softer than a whisper. That's proud. tricks. Oh, come on, Lasky. Thank you. If you speak your way and I still think you get the experience. Do we get as much experience though as if then if we kill the guards, I wonder. Stay low. I already stole that key. I wonder if it's gonna affect anything. Me neither, I've never felt the guards either. I never stole it. Thank you. On the hunt. What to do? The guard is bathed in a ten day. Eat all the onions. All right, Aaron. Thanks for jumping. Oh, fuck me. Critical fails are always rough. Oh man, not at all. Yeah, we can't do triple stew. Welcome to Worms Rock Prison, the fist nail we jail. What's your business? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know we just got like the passcode to enter, but this seems too fun. Determination. Definitely does in retrospect now, fucking doesn't it? Thank you very much for subbing up there. Uh, who did that? Bro, Bands, thank you for subbing, my dude. Guys, if you are watching on, on uh, YouTube, just make that switch to Twitch. It would help me out quite a bit here. We're, we're battling the uh, the duo of Pal Worlds and Enshrouded launch, so. And don't feed the prisoners. Make some cocky. Don't feed the prisoners. Make some cocky. I love that. How much experience did I get from that? Thank you, that's very kind of you, man. You're too late. It's over. The Steel Watch. I came seeking ally. Empty as a step. He spoke in accusation. I'll be executed in five dawns. Well, thank you, Mike. I appreciate it, bro. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? Here's the tricky part. Oh shit. I'm getting you out so I can punch the shit out of you, woman. <laughs> like, good lord. Another loyal When the people devotee. need a mi no more unlock. I'll seek out my connections. When the city street hurry. Okay, so now can is there a way to like make this non lethal? Oh she liked it. She was like, oh, <laughs> Punch me. <laughs> he likes that prompt. Oh, okay. Turn base, make her invisible, and then I can just walk out with her. Well, that's just fucking easy. Another loyal devotee.
That's cool. And Invi- cast disguise on her. Yeah, I'll take the secret route, which is over here. I don't have seeming, unfortunately. I don't even have disguise. I don't even know if I have the things of disguise. I do have a disguise self. I kind of want to try that. We'll try that. If it starts a fight, it starts a fight. Whatever. We can talk fine. On tippy toes. The softest touch. Oh my god, just fucking... Close. 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 Don't we gotta go. I just realized it's got a timer on it. Stop doing that. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All we gotta do is get over here, then we can close the door. Oh, fuck. No, wrong way, wrong way. Oh, shit. This way, right? It's this way? This is the way? Turns fuck. Anything that your character is proficient in. Should be easy. Come on, come on. Through, 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 through. Have a lot on my mind in there. Well, perfect. And then that door, that right there. Well, this is probably a good chest just sitting here. I mean, well, <gasps> that was fun. I don't know why I'm jumping. We all know what I can do instead. Come, come. Thank you. This is far enough. I can't thank you enough for getting me out of this. Firing focus, what I do, perhaps you could do the same. We need allies. Yes, I have some connections. You won't fight the coming battle alone. Look at my face. As long as the city stands. Okay. There we go. I was like, where's a ton of experience? I know there's a ton of experience. Yeah. Well, they didn't feel like very much. Like in the grand scheme of things, it felt like it was nothing. Uh, there's also a little place down here, if you didn't know about this. Get that ball, Sam. Always room for more? There's also that down over there I should probably go do. Like, there's a, there's a virtue to skipping stuff, right? Like, you get to get into stuff quicker, but you can also get a ton of experience just by doing stuff. We did that one. We did the ship area. Yep. 
If you do the trials themselves. No name? Might be worth it. Those trials are super easy, too. We just have to go cast a lightning spell on the things. <clears throat> Critical fucking success. Critical fucking success. What is up, Morgan? How you doing? Or Morgana? A little souvenir. <sighs> Guys, if you're watching on YouTube, make that switch, don't switch. Well, that switch, don't switch. Leave a hell in the building without aggravating the dragon. Just walk by answer and don't click on him. Are you fucking sure, dude? Because last time I did it, it just started by me walking into the room. Bro, uh, Bands gave out a community sub. Thank you very much, man. Why am I picking up arrows? Okay, Lord Siri. You can calm down. No, you can. It's fine, man. You definitely, you definitely are allowed to. Ooh. Well, should we just go do it just to get the experience, if anything? I mean, th there's no one I'd really use. Th the only person I'd use the helmet on is the throwing barbarian, realistically. And even then, I'd probably get the Bone Spike Helmet for her. Exactly. I just figured we'll go get, go get the experience. It's, they're super easy to do. We'll go do the hag too. Can I just open this and walk out? Do we think there's gonna be an issue? Everybody, hide. Gang stuff. I've not done any of the gang stuff actually. never know like what's gonna cause my head down. a misdemeanor is it a little B&E right now you know like are, are we sure I mean this is illegal to open this door uh, oh yeah no, no one's here absolutely no one's here man do they really no longer care okay I had the ultimate thief in my party, but Morgana made me respect with her exploit video yesterday. Well, I don't know who that is. Thank you very much for throwing 245 bits, too, man. You fucking generous bro. No, it's like one thing that I, I don't really watch other content creators. I think a lot. I think that's true of a lot of content creators. We don't really watch each other's content. Because it, I mean, I used to. I used to be very critical of everyone other, co everyone else's content. I used to always like, what are they doing? What are they doing? And then I realized I'm spending so much time. And I would get on calls with friends that are also content creators, and we wouldn't talk shit, but we would be like, you know, we don't get it. Why is this person? Why is there? Why are their videos getting so many more views? Blah 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 blah. And I just realized like I was spending so much time worrying about that that I wasn't. I just wasn't. Making content instead, just going and making and doing the thing that would make it better for me. And since I have stopped worrying or talking about anyone else's content, it's made my life way easier. 
Oh yeah, we did that untarnished. It definitely is. It definitely is. It's a really good way of putting it. Oh man, do I have to do this? Oh, I don't think I have any lightning. Is it it's specifically lightning, right? I could just do two two lightning arrows, I suppose. Well, and that and that's when I was like sub 100k. When it's just kind of very easy to look over your shoulder. Oh, is, is wait, Morgana, are you a Morgana's got Morgana. Go go check out her YouTube video channel. There you go. I didn't know you were also a YouTuber. <laughs> go check out Morgana. Morgana. She got twenty five k subs. She got some. She got some sweet BG three vids here. She got a little Power World video coming up here. Look at all that. Chance of precipitation. Conrad edition. Upcoming streamy poo starts at almost in like eighteen hours. Go check out. You just it just happened, bro. It happened, man. You just gotta have to deal with it. I'm not a, although I don't look at other people's content, I'm definitely about promoting them. Uh do no, we have the the oh uh, we don't. Oh well we did that bag exploit then. Thanks, Morgana. Morgana. We uh someone told me about it and I was like, oh okay, cool, let's try that out. You are a normie here, bro. We're all normies here. I'm just wait until we get to some weird fucking conversations because that's also going to happen. What is, uh... Why did that not happen? That was, uh, that was the whole point. Well, fuck my ass. Ass. Um, let's do this then. Someone there. Someone blew up all these fu- I had far more lightning accessible. I had far more lightning accessible when I did this. Yeah, that's what I was going to do is a shocking grasp scroll. But I only have one. Oh, well, yeah, that worked. Fucking stupid. Yeah, my I had I had a what's it called? A chain lightning when I tried this. Swift as my feet can carry me. Yeah, there you go. Do I love I love that there's this shit and I really want to take advantage of it in a playthrough. I love this. The emperor's like, don't go down there. There's nothing down there. Don't don't there's nothing. There's nothing. There's no. There's nothing you would need down there. You. There's no. There's no reason to go in that hole. I don't know why you want to go down there. It's like there's an ancient dragon of of forbidden might that I may or may not have killed. I love it. I love how frantic he becomes. Yeah, don't talk to my old uh, roommate. <laughs> a little on the nose. A little on the nose that the dragon chose to choose the humanoid form of Dragonborn. A little on the nose, gotta say. I did. But isn't he? He's a Dragonborn in this. He chooses the form of a Dragonborn. Now look at this. What are you doing here? What uh, going on? Oh, actually, this fucking fight's kind of scary. Look at oh, I fucking love this. Here we go. That's weird. Why is he like a tiefling? An elf and a bronze dragon, allies at sea. Even more over. I thought that was a human. I don't. 
statue before you, Bez. Peril floods my province. The Palisades fall. I didn't even realize that that's him. The servants of shadow and blood assemble. Beyond lies the grand worm, deep in slumber. That's so cool. I didn't realize that that's like the voice of Emperor. Should my domain drown in torment? Be you the deluge, turn away. Be you the hero, answer true. Are you worthy? Poetic no. And no savior. I'm not gonna go do answer. We're just doing the the uh um the trials for the experience, uh Panox. I see we filled the art the uh the check here. Whatever I will not be doing that. Allows this statue to speak. Ancient answer, hear me. A champion is proclaimed. The test begins. Let your judgment follow. I, I'm so afraid to do that, bros. I'll save and pull my fucking save to my desktop and we'll, I'll try it. And it's not that I don't trust you. It's that my... Okay, I've got all these videos, right? I'm stupid. I am not a smart human being. I barely have the reading comprehension above that of a third grader. Did you see what I did? Uh, let's... Let's do a little show, little, 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 uh, what they call a show and tell. Well, for all the people here that are wondering, well, dude, why don't you have Minathra in your party? This is exactly why I don't have Minthara in my party. And this is exactly why people are like, why are you, you guys are a strong party. Why are you being so paranoid? Blah, blah, blah. Just go in there balls deep, man. I'm like, did you see how I managed to fuck up one of the easiest things to do by simply smacking a bridge with a staff for four damage? That staff, let, let, let's be fair. Who is in charge of the structural integrity of those bridges? Because at four damage from a, from a, from a, a, a shoddy staff should not be enough to send a rickety bridge from Indiana Jones into the precipice. I think that's a, a totally fine request that our tax dollars go towards the structures and infrastructure of our state. It was built by goblins, admittedly. It is true, though. I could sell you guys. I, I when I used to apply for for uh, um sales jobs you know they always kind of like fucking hit you in the throat right be like so why should we give you this job and i would always be like honestly man i can sell colors to a blind person so i don't i don't really know why you should but i know you will <laughs> and i have never been turned down for a sales job never not once but it's also why i'm not in sales anymore because those people fucking suck do i have to talk to one of these statues first okay i can just jump on in okay so i don't like this fight up ahead I mean, I do have a globe I can use, but I don't really want to waste it here. Oh, I got two globes? Mm -hmm. Moreover, E2, and Roman is like asleep underneath my leg. I don't know how to cheese this puzzle. I just fight this one. I just, you know, go hard in the paint, raw dog Orando right here. Loyal Black Widow, thank you for switching team. over to Twitch. My dudette. Die close. Right? It, it's, I don't know if we went... I think we just did Lavender on her. The Bloody Plum, though. That is just... I think this is Bloody Plum. Bloody Plum, I think, is like the best single die. We have the Drake General over here. And Asterion has just got a hodgepodge of bullshit. I, I, I wanna... We gotta, we gotta get a little fashion born on a... Little fashion gate on Asterion going. Because he looks... Ram ramshod. Oh, yeah, my first one. It's just the best one, man. It's always the best. All right, let me pee before we do this. Bro. Back. Back. Be right back, guys.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know that one. Although we had some problems with that edge hit, man. It wasn't working, and it I had to reload a bunch of times. I can jump into this one. These things also, they give you resistances. So you can kind of have some fun with this, but I'm... Thank you, Thorbands. I appreciate that, man. But I just like to have a nice, fun, modest stream. Okay, let's just start this one. Uh, maybe we should set this up. Um, you can be like, I don't want to just get knocked off though. But there's fucking crazy elementals around in this bitch. You do? Throw bands. Teach me. Teach me how to become. I thought about making TikTok shit, but I'm just. I can't do it. I'm too. I'm. Funny, but I'm not like TikTok funny. How do you, who do you, I don't heal my playthroughs really in mid fight. I, I used to, but I, I learned like I would get frustrated because I'm like, oh, okay, oh, yeah, see, exactly. I, I, I'm 36, dude. I, I'm not like, can't zoom it up. Too, too. A champion burns bright. Take the torch. Withstand the elements. Prove your Damn yeah, man. Good for you, throw bands. That's fucking awesome. Is that your job though now? Or so are you like a full time content creator in that regard? Or do you did you do it and you're like, oh well it's just kind of what I do? And is it true that you make far more money on your TikTok than you do on your Instagram? From what I understand, like Instagram reels money is just like shit. But TikTok money is bueno. Oh god. 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 I'm, already, I'm immediately afraid. I'm immediately afraid. Tentacle porn. Tentacle porn. And this might have not been a good idea. Freaking out. Party NPC stream coming. What is that? Oh my god. No name. I fucking hate that shit. Roaring thunder arrows. Good call. Pretty bunny. Like I said, I make these videos, but I don't know anything. I'm pretty dumb. Can I talk to both of you? Oh god, did you say gang gang? I think if we move... Hmm. Well, for one, you're enraging. This fight, I just used Sanctuary on everyone and spammed in turn. Who the fuck were you, man? You know how fucking genius that is? Can you feel death's cold grip? I mean, I can still deal with the global invulnerability. Yeah, they can be pushed back. We can do rolling. But I want to kind of position better for that. That pinky doll girl lives across from me under here in MTL. Such a train wreck. Ooh. Well, they last for three turns. So what I would do is take this turn and use it on the next turn. There they level up each class. Achievement work with the... Oh, oh. Yeah, hundred percent, you landers. Um, so we can, if we move over here, I think we can get Roaring Thunder better. Okay, we fucked up our thing, but yeah. Well, you know what? Look at me, give me all my stupid bullshit. Coming for another, coming into another one of my streams where I just shit the bed, just nonstop bed pooping all night long. Hey, if you had a chance to shit your own bed, you can step into my bed to get shit on. Montreal, I got you, okay. I, yeah, every one of my streams is, is a pretty hardcore poop stream, dude. Gotta say, gotta say, 10 out of 10 on this pooping. The, when it turns red... Okay, so... Oh, oh. Sniper mode, activate. That will kill them both, right? 
Or they're saying that the red one will stop right there. Red is no movement. Okay, okay, okay. We bet we... Oh, oh. There's no moral test. I ain't pooping in my bed, brother. Oh, you saved that. Good. I'm glad you did. I'm glad. I'm not going to sneak attack on that. Bro Bands, give out another community sub. Dude, thank you so much, man. Very kind of you, brother. You are making it rain, as they say. They're just very underwhelming. You remember when I told you guys in my video on how to do combat? To make sure you aim for the things that are coming up in the initiative roll so you can get out of the way? And remember, I just, just didn't do that. I just don't do it. I don't take the advice that I give. That's an important part about being a content creator. You're just kind of dumb. A new subscriber bro, Bans, give out another one. Dude, look at you, man. Thank you, brother. You have made it rain today. I think it shows me... Oh, I think it shows me my highest single dono. But I know you've done a ton today, so thank you very much, brother. Who am I gonna fist? With this, I gotta not have people stand together. That, that's another big thing. So you can blow these up, though. I don't know if you guys know this. Um, you can blow these up, and they will give you resistances. And I don't remember what the resistances are. Is all that matters. Oh! Sure. Oh, my leg. He's actually throwing bands. <laughs> so you have this massive following on all these these uh, social media accounts. Why? How? A new throwing bands again, baby! Making it rain. Determination. I just love doing a little... Punching the shit pussy! And then another... Punching the shit, pussy. Oh. <laughs> there we go. I was like, great. Yeah, for sure that would happen. Now, do we... He's so fucking sick. I mean, I've got all these other cool things. The Hastens creatures within it? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so fucking sick. That's not gonna be good. Can't use this. For long rest. Um. Well, we didn't intend to, but it did happen that way. Dude, there he is again. Fucking making it rain. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. Doesn't this push? Yeah, I didn't want it to happen. Yeah, I failed the shit out of a saving throw. If I put it here, doesn't it push it backwards into a underway pushes? That's the one that pushes. Wow, what a great guy who makes these cool videos that I do. I don't even have a lightning damage to do. I mean, I could do it. This is a water elemental. What happens if I cast lightning on a water elemental? Nothing. 
because it's not not gonna matter. That's what I think I'm thinking of. No name. Um. I don't think it's worth it to do that. What do you think, guys? Detonation here? Do that and hope, hopefully send it over the edge, or do we just Eldritch Blast? What would you dudes like? They had another one just making them making it rain over here. I don't I wish I could see like can I see just like how many you've given? Because you've given a lot. And thank you very much, man. Very, very kind of you, my bro. This still has full X, X, uh, HP, yeah. Let me just do something really quick. Um, I'm putting in my McDonald's order because I haven't had McDonald's in months. And it's cheat meal Saturday. Eat whatever the fuck you want because you're on a 400 calorie deficit and nothing fucking feels good anymore. Everything sucks. You're not really liking what you're doing with life. But hey, you know what? You feel good about it. You take enough fucking... Uh, Fedosia and other bullshit, and you just, you know what? Sometimes you just, you have a little shit. I don't have, uh, I don't have the, um, the push Eldritch Blast invocation. One sec, guys. 10 piece nug. For sure that's happening. Ow, fuck that. Our third grade teacher is very articulate. You know your exact you metabolic rate. Arrives. Yes, I do. I know my BMR. It fills you with determination. Well, I know my so I know my basal metabolic rate, which is different than your metabolic rate after all of your activity. Um, but yes, I have these. I have those figures. Throwing bands is throwing bands, dude. Fucking make it rain over here. Did I get a filet of fish? Yeah, I think that's it. Two double cheeseburgers, a hot and spicy McChicken, medium fry, and piece nug. That'll do. Yeah, I've never ordered fast food seafood. It terrifies me. But I guess, you know, it's not as bad. It's about as bad as ordering, like, uh, I'm just gonna do this. Cool. Great. Glad that could happen. Glad, glad all that went down for me. Um, it's about to me as bad as... Uh, I, but I assume that ordering... Oh, God. It's like frozen fish sticks. It's like frozen fucking fish sticks is what I meant. Mmm. Stuck my fuck, as they say in France. Okay, now I think we use a global vulnerability. Although. 
Absolutely. Thank you very much for, for watching. And guys, please go check out Morgana's Morgana's YouTube. She wants to be a normie, but I promote everyone. I mean, I do like a good fish stick, my bro. These Myrmidons. So, this, like I said, these crystals will do something, and I can't remember what it was. Myrmidons, permanently armed. Okay. I wish you could just like ice them, you know what I mean? Hmm, sneak that fucking hit. I thought that would hit him, but I guess not. Whatever. I think we actually just frenzy throw or rage throw. You know what? My normal throw will kill this. Let's not waste a, a buffed up throw. And we'll trigger our temp hitties. Aha! Oh, you son of a bitch. How dare you not let your face get hit by my thingy. Uh, Eldritch Blast one. What now? Really? Why am I threatened? This thing can't attack me, so... That shouldn't threaten. Eldritch Blast and the Sight one. Devil Sight. I love that. I love when that goes off like that. It's just so fucking cool, man. Light on my feet. I will ascend. Time for a cup. I am fury. I am death. Hmm. It's bugged? I didn't know I didn't experience that. Oh, what the fuck? Oh I I I, I can turn it off. Charmed. Wow. Over here nor there. Oh, you son of a bitch. Why can I not do that? No one uses Eversight Ring in your party. You can replace Devil Sight with Replaying Blast. Um. I don't know if I do or not, Mike. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought we were able to knock your opponent. It's so cool. You son of a bitch. Ooh. Oh! Um... Do we globe invulnerability? Is it worth it? What do you guys think? We can just do that right there. I've got two of them. I can always buy more. I guess it's also not really, not really that risk here. I suppose. 
I know they do, I just... Water, water, air. Okay, air will stun. What are you doing? Get out of there, goose. Oh, 47 juicy force damage. Right to the gooch here on uh, KCAL 9. So want her get knocked off. Good idea, you guys have never seen I mean I can I can definitely turn on my other thing and I'll show you guys it working. Oh critical hit right in the fucking face. We can load up my other build and I can show you guys. Did we get our... Yeah, we did, because we killed that thing over there. 12 damage. Oh, on PS5. Damn, immune to prone, you fuck. You tricked me with your tricks. Immune to prone, but I don't think stagger. It is staggered. Staggered is what again? Ah, that. None of that. None of that. Awesome. Damn it. Oh, it's staggered. Can't make a reaction. Duh! God, I fucking love it. Ooh! Can I just use this infinitely? It's not like a, oh, oh you fucking long rest. Last round. Oh, we, we got it, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we got him. Oh, you son of a bitch. I think she can be knocked down. So she's immune to difficult terrain. I love it, dude. Just fucking round robin beat the shit out of people with these builds. I mean, this stuff gives me like some hope, right? Like maybe it won't be so bad doing the House of Hope, but I'm still freaked out. Look at you. Oh, you're warm, but you didn't sit in the sun. Does Gale voice the Emperor? Because this is the voice of the Emperor doing the Baldurin. 
I didn't think there's anything here. I'm just uh, kept checking. Oh, uh, there's a. I've had a weird thing happen here, where my character was just killed. So, I don't want to be a little cautious. I don't think I've heard Orpheus speak. I've, I've not beaten the game, so. A good dirge playthrough. If so, how did you like it? Well, that's what we're going to do, Throw Bands. Um, my, um, my playthrough with the Paladin, I'd like to do is of resisting the dirge. Paintings hung on the wall. Almost like an art gallery. A true restore. Uh, do you guys remember how to cheese this? Remove curse. We oh, have that. Judge was banished, but judgment must still be passed. Uh, it's the cell, right? What's up, Papa Oxy? The thread had that. Because it was like saying, like, they still need to be punished, but not. As outright. Yeah, exactly. Now we do. You'll definitely break your oath. Well, that's okay. What if I just fucking everyone fell through right there? I would have gotten so mad, bros. I don't remember this. I know I gotta pick up the flying books. The best way to do it is like this. There we go. Not call in passage? Okay. Call of the week is not working, by the way. At least I haven't seen it working. Uh, I don't have it ha enabled right now, but we did have it enabled. Repositioning. I might just like fully corrupt my bard. Just give him every single illithid one we can. Oh, that's right, Mike. I think you're right there. Let's have a look. Guys, we're getting close to the end of the stream here, but I want to appreciate everyone coming in and watching here today. Um, I don't think I'll stream tomorrow. I kind of want to take a day off. I need a day off. Um, Why? Why could you just... Why? What's going on? Could you just... 
Out of hand it. I think I have to really be like right under it from what I remember. With all characters or what? Oh, there we go. Okay, and then I what? I go over here and I kill the guy on the left. It's Swelto, right? I know, but fun. Another loyal devotee. Man, I, I'm not kidding. I did. I maybe I because I actually forgot to do that. That's what caused it. But I I went to go do one of these and it fucked up. We just go use any kind of lightning damage on the Black Queen King. Is that it? Because I've done this before and it didn't work. Prove your strict. There is but one rule: the Dark King. Are you a commander of armies? I don't have any lightning damage. Because the puzzle's meant to fail. From what I. Kill it in two moves. Uh, is it checkmate in two moves? That's what it is? Um, I am pretty good at chess. Let me see if I can just solve it. Yeah, you, you just go ahead and use electric on the electric damage or lightning damage on the king. So 
pawn checks the king. King cannot move up or left. But the queen can take that. Wait, I think that actually the pawn taking the pawn does it. No, because he can just take the he can just take the knight. Never mind. Uh, the rook could be taken by the bishop. Uh, queen takes bishop, queen can take king, or queen can take queen. I'm one of those players that, that baits with queen. I want you to take my queen as fast as you can. Fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Throw bands, throw another one, dude. Thank you very much, my bro. Throwing bands, just throwing those bands. Dude, in the last 30 minutes, or actually, last hour, throw bands is an hour. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I think. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine, ten. Nine or ten. Nine or ten. Thank you very much, man. I really fucking love it. Very, very kind of you, bro. Okay. It's eight? Fuck. Well, thank you for eight's my lucky number, so thank you. <laughs> All right, so here, let me just step through my, my reasoning and that might help me vocalize it out loud because I have like, there's a pressure about it that I'm like freaking out about. So I'm looking at pawns take, pawn takes pawn causes check. This locks in that movement and that movement right there. But queen can simply take the pawn. Um, queen to bishop, uh, queen to queen. So that's not going to happen. Um, rook to check here, bishop to rook. So I'm trying to think a little bit more about some extra steps here. So just give me a sec. We were to hydrate. I think the answer though is somewhere in that pawn. Well, it has to take three turns. It has to be less, it has to be two. Although I think it's like you can take a move and then get the two, right? But it's gotta be in two moves. So I have to make a move, and then the second move's got to be it. So that's why I'm like, okay, that pawn opening up, that check is good. Wait a minute, do I have anything down here I can use? No, okay. I don't know if I had another, if I had another rook to cover that. Rook takes bishop. Bishop holds the check. Subscriber arrives. Throw bands, give it out another one, dude. Thank you. Number nine. Number nine. A new subscriber arrives. Number it ten. You now you've hit a double digits, you crazy fuck. I love it, dude. Thank you, brother. There's 
a check with a queen. I, mm, the rook is still there. Fuck. I was going to say check with the queen. You go queen to pawn. That creates a check. That holds the check here. If I, I'll ask guys. Don't worry. Don't don't worry, guys. I'll I'll ask if I need the help. I deliberately want to do this. Boom! Eleven from throw bands. It fills you with determination. Dude, top gifter now. You hot son of a bitch. I love it, man. Thank you so much. Very, very, very generous of you, dude. Very generous. Rook to check. Uh, Mike, I, I don't know. You said you said rook check, then queen check. So if rook checks over here, the 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 bishop takes it, ends it out. Queen into pawn, pawn check. Queen into queen. Yeah, that can't work either. That's more than two. Um, Rook into bishop. Queen into queen. Do I? Do they move? I, I don't remember. Do I just get two unmitigated moves? Because that's that's different. Okay, they do move. Okay, I couldn't remember. What if Rook into Bishop? See, so that the Rook into the Bishop doesn't cause a reaction. So that that's what I was kind of thinking. The answer is somewhere here in the in the in this. Knight can't take the Rook too far away. Um, just naming stuff. <laughs> um, I'm thinking, I was going to say rook into bishop. And clearly, you know, that can't take, but this can take. But they could just take my queen instead. Because I was going to say rook into bishop. Queen takes rook. Queen takes queen. Checkmate. Because you can't move. Loyal devotee. But I, there's no, there's no reason. Like if I was playing this game, there's no reason I would take. I would. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's just the AI's program to do exactly that. Right. Like. Like, this is not a smart move, is what I mean. It doesn't end your playthrough, right? Oh, this is honor mode. Does it fucking kill you like it does in the trials? 
Oldest Fellowship expands. Total of 12 right. gifts on the channel here from Throwband. Thank you, man. There's forced mate here is all I'll say. It'll spawn lots of stuff. Okay, I don't want to fuck around then. Okay, cause so here's if I if I do rook to bishop and then the queen takes the rook, I take the the queen that's checkmate. Checkmate. But does that happen? Because if I if if it were me playing black, as soon as that happened, I would just take the queen. And yeah, sure, that then takes my queen as well, but I'd knock out both queens off the table. Okay, if there is a way to avoid the AI, we'll take it. No, not, not, not knight, not knight. Rook to bishop, queen to bishop or to rook, me to that. I would think so too. Pretty happy brain. That's how I was like, ah. Eh. Otherwise, it's like, okay, I do. Wait. Queen to pawn. Queen to queen. Yeah, we, we can only do it in two turns. Uh, queen is protected. If I go queen to pawn, uh, the pawn protects the, the, the queen from the king. And it's a check, so it forces the queen over to here. And then I can take the queen, but... The sacrifice of the knight where? I'm going to put the knight here? That doesn't block a path. The knight can only go white, black, black. And it won't protect a path. I mean, I could... Fuck. Sometimes the knight's movements fucking fuck me up. So that would, yeah, that would actually open this up. And that protects... Okay, so knight over to here causes a check. The check for the king can only be... It forces the king then to move... Here. Oh yeah, he eats this pawn, you're right. Pawn takes knight. Good call. Forgot. Thanks, Lord Sirian. <laughs> Two thirty. We gotta get going. All right, you guys. I'll allow it now. Spoil me. What would what do we do? I know I can just go lightning the 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 king, but what what solves this? I looked at what time it is. I'm like, fuck. I gotta get going. Check with the rook. Then he takes rook over one. Night up and over, you were saying over here. Okay. Oh, rook one to the left. Then queen three to the left. You mean three to the right? Or two to the right? Okay. You guys have like fucking eight different th bits of advice. So, rook here.
That's our first move. Queen here? I don't know how the fuck you guys expect me to do that. What? Or queen up here. Where, where you want me to put the queen? Queen here? Got it. Okay. Yeah, because the knight's protecting that angle. I'm so confused. Max, fuck you. <laughs> Thank you, bros. Oh, I love that puzzle. I'm I'm upset I didn't get that. I love that puzzle though. I know, I know. We, we even said that we said we can we can skip this, but I want to do it. There we go. There's all that juicy fucking experience, baby. Real close. I. I'm not, we're not doing this fight. So we're saying, you guys are telling me I cannot click the dragon and I can just walk out of here. You bet your fucking ass. I'm about to fucking stealth around this dragon. With, 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 with what? Just like old times. And I, I, I might not need to. I might not need to at all. But I do not trust. Uh, this is not gonna fucking. It does matter because that's why I'll control out delete. I know I don't even need to sneak. That's how scared I am. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh my god, my butthole is so tight right now. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like anything. I don't like it all. Uh. Let's get going then. Oh. See, that's just kind of cool, right? Pick I'm not pickpocketing the sword. You're not pickpocketing the fucking sword. Fuck the sword. <laughs> the funny thing is, I can't even, like, I can't even fucking, like, go back to camp now. <laughs> Guys, you'll never believe what I just did. <laughs> um, I think we can we can put the helm on uh, the barbarian. It fits the whole motif. All right. So my bros, I'm gonna save us there. We're gonna come back to this on Tuesday, unless I decide to stream on it. Tomorrow, but I don't think I will. Like I said, I want a little, little day off here. Huge shout out here to all the uh, donations here today, guys. You guys, I think in total, gave out like something like 50 total subs today. And a huge shout out to Throw Bands, Brissy Barista, Porterhouse 30 Ounce, Eli for his 30 or his 10, um, 
I think it's 50, 15 in total from from uh, from Eli. Elrath from 15 in total, guys. Thank you so much. There were so many subs given out today, and I, and I appreciate it so, so much. So thank you so fucking much for, for watching, having fun with me here. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, do make the switch to Twitch, because we're going to have a little bit of fun and do a little raidy poo. A little stinky raidy poo. Do any of my, any of my friends streaming? Who's, who's streaming right now? Tangent is, Tangent is streaming, and he's just so nice. Um, who else is streaming now? We can stream. Do you guys want to go to anyone specific? Oh, Java Chip is streaming. We can we can raid her. A new subscriber. Oh man, sick nature too. Giving out a total of fifteen here today, dude. Thank you so much, bro. You guys are some. You guys have been so kind. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise Dragon. Uh, the first Dragon Dogma game is on sale for four dollars on GOG right now. I swear to you, I was going to enjoy it very much. Well, we're going to play the second one, DT, all up in this bitch. Uh, we're going to get it right now. We just got to the point, Roy, Roy of, of even being able to go to lower lower cities, so we're going to get it tomorrow. Fellowship expands. Praise the sub. I'm second now. Fuck this. Yeah, man, we have a we have a fun good we have a good community here. We read out we we weed out any tomfoolery pretty quick. But guys, thank you so much here. So let's have some fun. Let's do a raid. It's Java Chip is cool as shit. She is an attractive British woman that lives in New York. Appreciate all your videos. Man. Absolutely, dude. Happy to help you. I hope the itemization in the beginning helped you out as well. 65 viewers are ready to raid. If you are, again are watching on YouTube, make the switch to Twitch here. Let's get this going. Let's get a big old fat raid going. We have 91 of you bros over here on, on uh, Twitch. Join in this raid. The only 68 are... are uh, we are raiding It's Java Chip is her name. She's got something like 100 viewers. Let's double her viewers, bros. Later, Doom. Have a good one, guys. Guys, thank you so much for watching here today. But have a good one. Take care. Wash your hands. Stay safe. Again, a huge shout out to everyone who gave out donations, bits, um, Prime subs, everything today. We had a sponsor on YouTube. Thank you very much. Uh, a member, new member on YouTube. So thank you very much. But guys, again, enjoy your weekend. Stay safe. Let's get this raid going over here to Java Chip. Only 71 of you. Bros, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. There's 91 of you watching right now on, on Twitch. Stack in. Let's get weird and wild. I'm going to put an entire... What? Nothing? Absolutely dusk. Thanks for watching, my man. All right, guys. This raid is going off in five, four, three, two. Have a good one. Take care. Wash your hands. Stay safe.